What? Is this one dead? Shit. Damn it, man. All right, good news. This one is alive. This one is dead. Shit. Okay. I'll start charging one here. this one as well. Sorry chat, normally I like to have all this already set up. Alright. Let me do this. I can plug that in there. Plug both of these into that. We'll do it this way then. Daisy chain it. Okay. All right. Hi, Mr. Lurkers. How's it going? Just um, trying to get everything charging again. I don't know how I found myself in an energy crisis here. I wonder what else I didn't charge. I think everything else is probably pretty good. It's just the mics. But I have one one good mic. So it'll be good. How's your day going? What's wonderful in your world today?
All right, so Tom is um, getting the tools all set up out here. So I kind of take you over here and you can kind of see what's going on. I'm trying to get things um, So he's got the saw going, getting everything set up under the tent. We're gonna start doing some framing again. So gotta router out some more stuff. <laughs> I know name. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> How's it going? And I need to find the other so annoying. Got one. I bought Tom a, uh, a wrist thing for chat, and I don't know where it is. I think he's lost it. I think he's lost it. I don't know where he might have put it. Well, that's what happened. He wanted to take care of it himself not keep it in the stream bag where it belonged, so that's... What is going to happen? Let's see. Let me pull up chat. Ah, uh, good having food what are you eating no name what's for lunch good feature of new update is you can put usernames without them having to have typed something in chat in advance oh that's cool i did not know i didn't even know there was a new update it's news to me but good to hear All right, let me, so I'm gonna monitor, sorry, let me just see. We're at 40 degrees Celsius right now, the phone is, so. We'll see how it goes up from there. Hopefully it starts to cool off in here a little bit. It's, Pretty warm today. It is pretty warm today. So, what we're gonna do is, um, I'm gonna be framing in. So, a lot of this that we did here to start the framing part and then we went all the way to the end on the top and started to go down um, and I think he has to have he has to have another rail that comes across but we've also got to do the other side too so we've got a lot of wood we've already routed out some we're gonna need to router out more so yeah it's just it's gonna be a work in progress today We'll be going in and out from the, um, oh, I need to get another battery. A battery for you. I'll stick you closer to the AC so you get a little bit of air. Keep the temperature down, keep you running nice. And get another battery. Alright. 
All right, chat. I think that'll keep you nice and cool. Oh yeah, okay. You're getting direct airflow, cycling. Hi, Darren, how's it going? Usually eat potato, cauliflower, and tomato vegetable. Yum. We had uh, some of Tom's yummy soup for lunch. Oh. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you want to put... um. If you want to put that in the Discord, no name, are you on the Discord yet? There's a, there's a place for that. And there's like um, a, specifically a healthy eating channel. And that would be awesome if you want to put that there. We also eat chapatis made out of multi-grain flour. What is a chapati? I don't even know what that is. But I really am looking to do um, a lot with the multigrains because that's really all, all the only kind of bread. Um, but I don't even know what a chapati is. It's almost Bloody Mary time, chat. It's a bread basically made out of flour. Oh, okay. Nice. We were just talking about, um, we have a small bread maker. Um, we don't, we haven't really, I don't know that we've ever made our own bread. I think somebody got it for us, but we were talking about wanting to do our own bread with some like, you know, whole, whole grains by flattening it out and frying it in oil on a pan. Wow. That sounds fancy. Sounds good though. Yeah, but the potato, cauliflower, and tomato vegetable? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, we actually had um, a multi grain bread and um, Tom's amazing vegetable soup for lunch, so feeling good. Hi, Blitz and Blob, how's it going? Oil can be replaced with clarified butter for health. Cool. Yeah, I'd probably use, if I was to do it, some sort of vegetable-based oil. We'll try to use, like, not a lot of any oil, actually, but, um, but if we do, then it's usually just sparingly um, olive oil. Or vegetable oil, like I've done popcorn and vegetable oil, but just use it sparingly. Ooh, mustard oil. Yeah. I don't, I've actually, I need to look that one up too. Mustard oil. I, I have never heard of that. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'll look up the mustard oil. Yeah, we try to stick with olive oil. The only thing olive oil doesn't taste good um, for like if you're doing, we don't really do eggs anymore either though. So that's probably out. But like, you know, any sort of oils that we use for pesto or pasta or anything like that has always been um, just olive oil, but sparingly. But yeah, I'll look at, I'll look at mustard oil. Actually, I've got my computer right here. I can look up mustard oil. Pressed in cooking or, pu or a pungent essential oil known as volatile oil of mustard. The essential oil grinding mustard seed, mixing the grounds with water, and isolating the resulting volatile oil by distillation. 14 grams. Let's see. So one tablespoon is about 124 calories. 
14 grams of fat, 1.6 saturated. Interesting. Mustard seed oil, because I know mustard's, you know, mustard's got mustard oil, health benefits, uses, nutrition, and side effects. Medical news today. It's rich in monounsaturated fatty acids, which appear to reduce the likelihood of developing cardiovascular disease. However, cooking with the oil may pose a serious risk, especially for children. People have, it's, so mustard oil is common in Asian, notably Indian cuisines. The oil's strong taste comes from a compound that's also present in horseradish and wasabi. Yum. It also contains a compound that may have an anti-inflammatory property. The use of mustard oil is controversial and the potential risks are so great that the FDA has prohibited its use in cooking. Why? Lower blood pressure, less body fat than those who consumed other types of oils. While the mustard seed contains high levels of these fatty acids, avocados and olive oil contain more. It's important to note these potential benefits are likely to be small compared with others, blah, 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 anti-inflammatory. Huh. Oh, dangerous and side effects. Oh, because it contains high levels of erucic acid. I don't know how to pronounce that. High levels may be dangerous of that. So, and that type of erucic acid may cause a heart condition called myocardial, myocardial lipidosis. Myocardial lipidosis. It's uncertain whether humans experience the same side effect, but high levels could pose a risk to certain groups such as children. FDA does not permit its use as a cooking oil in the United States. That's crazy. Did you know that? Blob holding a drone and tinkering. <laughs> where, where are you going to fly the drone, Blob? I need to pick up my new, my new glasses this week. Tom and I both got new prescriptions. Mine had, I needed, mine needed more of an adjustment than Tom's, but pick them up this week. So I'll stop, I'll stop looking at things like, what? <laughs> All right. Might be time for a Bloody Mary. Might be. Chet. going to be warm today. Hopefully that blocks some of the sun. It's supposed to rain. Like it was supposed to rain. La I guess maybe it did rain last night. I think we did have a few storms, but the drone is a repair drone. Blob has to repair and return it to the foundry. And what is Blob repairing? Blob. I love this ongoing story. Shayna and T are probably shopping. Darren is lurking around. Mr. Lurkers is lurking around. Just a quiet day today, it seems like. I'll be glad when we get this part done. I feel like we've, we've been stuck on this framing part for a little bit. Like, a few weeks. So, 
it'll be good to see how much we can get done today. Um, the next, what we're going to do after we get that, um, the framing done, we'll look at where the electrical outlets need to go and go ahead and mount those in. Tom is looking at some uh, thinner ones, so for like RVs, and they're thinner, so they'll fit um, against the wall here within this space that he's made. And um, so then we'll do the wiring, and then we'll cover it with shiplap. And I'm really excited to do that. We were going to do wainscoting, but I think the shiplap's going to look really nice. You know, just a, maybe a little more rustic. Um, we're going to do kind of like a whitewashed, so it'll be kind of beachy. I think it'll be nice. So that's coming as well. And Tom is was on the phone. I don't know what's going on here. Hello? Is anybody out there? Well, drums have different functions, but this one functions for repairs on the auto foundry. Oh. Got it. Got it. And I can't see out in front in the bus anymore because Tom's got the... to keep the heat, to keep the heat on the other side of the windows. All right, let me see what he's, he's off the phone. So let me see what he wants to do. Hey. So what are we going to do first? Huh? What are we going to do first? I'm going to figure out what I need to do. Oh, okay. Okay. So I need to get all the tools on anyway. Okay. I don't, I don't know. I'm just up here just making small talk with myself. Huh? I'm I'll be right in. Okay. Well, that's why I was like, do you want me to bring them out there? Uh, I'm coming in. To see what your tools are? No? Okay. And then we'll strategize what the plan is, chat. Bob turns on the drone after the repair completion and sends drone to the foundry. Ah, oh, God. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Needs to get cool in here. Auto foundries require hourly maintenance. Blob is a busy blob. Like this sounds like productive blob work. Blob sounds like he's on task right now. I'm digging productive blob. I'm doing absolutely nothing and loving it. Good for you, Darren. Good for you. Yeah, me too. Might be time for a Bloody Mary. That, the yoga session today seriously did chill me out. Like, I do, I feel good. I think every once in a while we need to do those, do those, um, the, uh, whatever that was, restorative. 
you know, it doesn't, because, you know, I don't know that we need to do it every week, like some, you know, learning different things and doing the different flows and even focusing on the different poses and making the stretch. But I think just sometimes to do a restorative session like that is just nice. Like it reminds me that I need to take care to stop and rest. And it's just like intentional resting. I think it's great. Blob opens personal storage pocket dimension. <laughs> I'm stressing out last minute plans with all my family here and parking downtown. Good thing I yoga Yeah, try not to stress, Shayna. Like, you know, I don't know about the parking, but if you're trying to coordinate everybody else, just, you know, let others basic guidance and let other people find their own way, you know? It's sometimes nice to stay in a pose for a bit. Yeah. And I liked it because those were like gentle stretches, but they were still stretches and I could feel it, you know? But they were kind of supportive. I really liked it. It chilled me out a bunch. <laughs> I didn't have two blocks, so that leg thing with bolster wasn't great. Oh. Yeah, you know what you could have done, too, is even turned, like, where for a couch and just kind of put your upper legs on the couch, you know what I mean, and, and be supported that way. Yeah, need to do gentle. Yeah. No? Yeah, just to like, and that would have rested your entire lower part and your knees. And you could have just, you know what I mean, kind of had that elevation, but been supported that way. So, good pose. I can sort of feel, I mean, now that the auto yeah, thing is working, cool in here then. outside, yeah. good. It's still kind of warm, but, yeah. but it is working. Yeah, definitely. And it's blowing on chat. Yep. So, all right. So yeah, I'm going to play with the, um, wood so strips. yep. We got the wood strips here. We got to, with this side, we haven't even started yet. Yeah, we got to finish this side, which is another, another, row. another row at the bottom. Another, another row at the bottom and a row right here. Oh, at the very bottom? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. The the okay. Boards. And then a row in the middle. Do we need a row in the middle? Because the ship lap's going to be thicker. It is, it is, but it won't take us long to do that. Um, Maybe we don't. We can probably just, it would vibrate. I'm just worried about vibration and stuff. Is it, do you think it's another, if we do that, it's another place though to, for like the couch or any sort of interior things that well, we another were, attachment what point? What we were going to do is we were, that row right there was going to get, one of those rows there was going to get that, um, we talked about putting the, 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 the T rail, the T-track in. At least the, the front section there to the wheel well. Yeah. We don't need it back here at all. Just the front section there to attach the couch and the cabinets. Yeah, and probably over the wheel well to um, if that's where the closet's going to go. Yeah, we can come to that. Yeah, no problem. It's the same thickness as this. Yeah. So I'll order that this week. I'll go order it. So that's what we'll put in the middle is the T track? Yeah, we'll just do the bottom. And there's not as many um, there's not as many rivets on the bottom, so that won't be too bad. We just we might have enough cut. So I think what we do is that white piece there. See what yeah. that white is? This white thing. Yeah. This comes off, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a section. I but get all that all excited about how fancy I did that, but um, that right there. This comes off right here. Oh, it's going to come off? Yeah. Oh. 
Yeah, because it, I want the ship lap to sit flat. Yeah. That was that whole conversation with Lab City or or Loki was having. Well, and now we also talked about I don't know how wide the um. You know what I mean? The their table or cubby was going to be. Yeah, but this this I want the ship lap flat. This this cable is much flatter than doesn't need to. It's thick right. Beyond okay, that. I see what you mean. So we'll just make it so. Oh, so really just cut it off right here? Yeah. So that it... Yeah, I'll do that. I'll just take this off, and then we'll put a piece of wood in there. Okay. Or maybe not. Maybe we won't have to, but we got to take this off. Just take this off. Yeah. Um, I put it back on. All right, let me take this outside and let it charge. Because you're going to put on top of this, we'll have another layer, right? Of like a... Um... Yeah, it'll all be trimmed out. Like this. Yeah. It'll be trimmed out nice, and then the ship lap will... So the ship lap will come up and then we'll trim up the top. Okay. And have a nice, nice smooth edge. It'll stick out just a little bit over the ship lap. So if you yeah, like a window sill. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. It'll be nice, it'll be fancy. Fancy. Chat's getting blown. <laughs> what? Yes, chat is getting blown. You are, um, yes, you are getting cool. You're at 41, almost 42 degrees. Blob grabbing Casker and old damaged armor pieces. All right, so now we're, Blob did the produ pro productive things. Now he's going to repair armor and stuff. He's armoring. He's, okay. he's getting ready to do something. I'm not quite sure what, but. Right. I'm going to, um. Look at this jackery. We've not finished charging it yet. Okay. I'm going to hand you that uh, cable through the... I'm going to hand you the cable through that hole. Okay. You could probably stick it right there. Oh, that's why he was preparing the foundry, because Blob had stuff to repair himself. I get it. I get what's going on here. All right, hold on. Where's it coming in? Huh? I'm looking for it. Where? Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, shit. Hold on. Yep. I got it. Okay. Got it, chat. We got it. Nice guys. So we got the Jackery I got 65 charging. Going. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Okay. Hey, Dead Draw Todd. Welcome on in. Thanks for the follow. Hi, right, kids. How's it going today? All right. Oh, I can I can actually turn can actually turn and move this. There we go. All right. 
All the tools. All the tools. Blob yeah. has armor, but it was heavily damaged from the last conflict. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. We got all the tools. We have tools, guys. We have tools. We will refill my coffee and we will start. Do you want me to do it? I'm going to get a Bloody Mary anyway. Do you want me to get you coffee? Do you want it in a, um, do you want like iced coffee in a, no? In a regular cup? Like ice, water. Okay. I can get you, huh? You should, okay. And you just want coffee in here, or do you yeah, want coffee? A, there's fine. And then ice up. water in a. So this is a big issue here. What? This is already broken because of the, the pressure on that. Colin, I noticed that we're gonna have to screw that down. Oh. And it's gonna always. Well, what if we have a sh threshold there of some kind? Why? Because this is. Just cut it all the way off and do it differently. We'll deal with it. I'm not worried about it right now. Yeah. We'll figure it out. If it would have been a full wide board there. Why? Because why is that an issue? What happened? Well, the, you step on it right here and it, and it split the... Oh. So we need a, basically a shim. If we shim it underneath? No, it's already broken the, the, the um, connector. Oh. Where it snaps in. It's already broken it. Oh. So... Well, maybe you do just screw it down. Now. Yeah. It's kind of in a place where, I mean, we can do a lot right there anyway. If we have to cut it off and do a threshold, we'll do that. We'll figure it out. We'll okay. Right All right. Might end up wanting to put a metal diamond plate there or rubber. We might want to do something different anyway. So yeah. Yeah. We gotta do something. We gotta figure this out anyway. Yep. So. Looks good. Nobody would notice that. No, and we talked about if we took this all the way over and then whatever we decided to do, you know, under this seat in front could all be just an entryway and doing even like tile here or something, you know what I mean? Something pretty. So. It doesn't, it's okay. Yeah, but it wasn't Tom. <laughs> Sorry, that was my butt. <laughs> Sorry. Got the butt shot. Yeah. Hi, Hammer. How's it going today? <laughs> All right. I am going to go get some. Um, what are you going to do? Are you going to be in here or out there? I'm coming in. Okay. Start measuring what I need to do. Okay. Well, I'll let you set, set chat up wherever you're going to work so they can see. And um, here, we'll just swap off this for a minute. All right. All right. All right. Sorry, chat. Coffee and ice water for you. You want a Pepsi? Not yet. Okay. All right, guys. Guys and gals and little blob things all right so we're gonna work I think we're gonna work from the back forward okay we will work from the back forward
66. 66. Do 66. You guys want to go with me? Sixty-six. Oh, hammer, that sounds great. Oh, you made waffles, hash browns, smothered. Did you make them smothered and covered? How do you make them? A lot of people don't like Waffle House, but I love Waffle House. Love it. Love it. 66. Let me find shade for you guys. All right. Sixty-six you kids. Want this out here or inside? Yeah, in up here is fine. I don't want you to get sawdust in your coffee. Oh yeah, we'll be okay. We will be. We will be okay, baby. We will be okay. Where? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I walked right past you, chat. I thought you were still inside. Oh, nice. Sorry, I didn't have, I didn't have my stuff on. Go. Hi, no name. Burping. Yeah, I saw inside Waffle House All Star Special Breakfast. Waffle hash browns, eggs, and sausage. Tom knows about that one. I just told him one of my favorite. Definitely. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Definitely. Right there. All time favorite Waffle House. Just standard hash browns. I like to mix in dippy eggs over medium. I like I like over medium as well. I don't like any runny white stuff. All right. So, Blob pulls up schematics to make one whistle owl's launcher and 32 whistle talons and wrist blades. Wow, dude. What you di DIYing? Are you asking are you asking Blob or or Tom? <laughs> because Tom were making um custom Did you talk to them about what you're actually making? I didn't. No, I just was measuring. I said Told them to remember 66 inches. So these are custom. Yeah, I'll, I can, I'll explain it once we go in there. Yeah. I've got glasses on. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll explain it once we go in. Okay. I sharpened the pencil. I lost it. So I'll just tell you, just basically doing custom. Um, we routed this before, R routed it out because along where we're putting these braces for. Uh, that will hold the ship lap and stuff and anchor other stuff that we decide to put in. Um, we've got uh, rivets that go all the way across. And so we routed out this so that it would set 
against the wall and the rivets are in here. Um, and we'll have to probably route some more, but it looks like he's gonna just start cutting pieces to go across. So we did the top layer and now we have the bottom layer. Waffle House is amazing. People like to dump on them, but there isn't a single breakfast joint out there making food fresher. They do it right in front of you and with no ticket rail. They just memorize it. Nods as if he understands every minute detail and has a prototype in his brain. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, I agree. CCP, I know that they, you know, the fact that they cook things in front of you is good. People can actually know what's happening with the food and know that you're getting a fresh plate, you know. I've never been, I just look at all the oil and stuff, I'm, and I just can't do that with, um, with breakfast. I'm kind of more of like a fluffy omelet kind of person. And the stuff that usually comes out of Waffle House is, you know, more like it's just, it's basic griddle, you know. Hi, Sweet Pea. We are cutting, so this right here is the routed out piece to go there. So dad's going to cut some more of this framing um, to put on the walls. We need to, we need to get that part done. And then um, hopefully we'll get that done today because then we can start looking at the wiring and buy the shiplap and get the walls done. So. I will be so glad when it's not so flipping hot outside. Like, when's fall coming? They're making a space shuttle from scratch. No, that happened last night with Legos. <laughs> 66. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's my son. I Sweet pea, pookie head. Is pookie head on? Pookie head is on. Hey, pookie. All right, Lala, here we go. Hey there, unnameable burper. Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? Okay. Hold what? Where? You don't need me at all, do you? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Kinda, um, I need to get something underneath there to lift that up a little bit. Let me get a piece of wood. This is not adjustable? This goes up, it, doesn't it? Is, it is, but I, I'm, I'm, it's one inch. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, fall is going to be so nice. I think it's going to, so it'll end up being fall when we paint it. We get past all this, you know, rainy, rainy summer season and humid summer season when it starts drying out. Like that's going to be another, I'm looking forward to the painting process and we'll have to sand everything. So it'll be a lot of work, but I can't wait for it to, to, have colors, you know? Oh no, lunch with the fam, of course, thunderstorms coming. Oh man, thanks for the lurk, Shana. Be careful. Just remember patience. <laughs> All right. yeah. I'd believe it, Tom was an engineer for NASA, so uh, we watched him rebuild multiple diesel engines so a shuttle isn't too far out of his capabilities, I think. Just kind of hold that right there. Don't push down on it. Just kind of hold yep. it right there. Okay. 
I know, sugar snap. Oh, that's cute. Sugar snap. My husband is like that. When he says he doesn't know how to do something, I don't believe him. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, and there's, there's lots that Tom is like, no, I don't know how to do that. But, you know, it's that aptitude where you can, I mean, he'll go online and he knows enough about enough things that he can apply knowledge that he has to learning something new and makes it more accessible to him. So he's good like that. You're going to route what? Um, the end of this. So I'm going to need you to hold the... Just come over right here and just hold that right there. see that I'm um, okay so what I'm doing is there's rivets there's rivets in the um, where I'm attaching this wood and so I'm going to I'll show you but I uh, there's rivets and so I we created a channel in that wood Let's see it better here we created a channel in there and then the rivets will sit dead center in this channel and at the end, there's some raised uh, tin where they overlap, and I, I just want it to sit a little bit more smooth instead of not being off. You would never notice it, but let's make it just a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. Right, Lala? Tom's a perfectionist. So I'm just going to take off an inch at the end. Blob looks at the database for old Clarabin ARF Scout Helmet Schematic. Here we go. Right. Ready? Yes. Ready. Right now, my husband is looking at vehicle wiring thingamabobs online from multiple different years <laughs> for fun. <laughs> so that's what we did there. Yes, we took, there you go, there's a good angle. See how we just routed that out right there? To make, make it disappear? Okay, let's take it inside and I'll show you how this works. Fabricated stuff. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna need a lot of under bus storage to take all these tools with me. Uh, working on uh, working all these people's houses, honey. I know. All right. Well, we have lots of under bus storage that we don't have installed yet, but we will. Here we go, chat. So now I'm gonna put you in front of the air so we get you cold again. Okay. So. What are we, where are you putting it? Right here, at the back. Oh, in the back? Find my new pads. 
44.3, not bad. Uh, your knee things, hold on. Yep, I see them. So what we can show you here, guys, is what we just did. Nice. Nice. Nice fit. And we don't really have many uh, things in the way here because we're going underneath that one. Yeah. Each one will be a little bit different. They don't have to be perfect height. So what we're going to do is then we'll attach our um, boards. We'll insulate, run our electrical down this channel right here. All the, uh, it'll be great. It'll. We'll probably do the electrical above this. We don't really, we're not really worried about codes per se. Um, but I'll run extra wiring in here um, now, and then we'll have it. But I'll definitely put 120 volts on this wall so we can put outlets right below the windows. Yeah. One at the end. I was going to say we'll need because this is like the bedroom area. So for like charging things yeah. for iPad, you know what I mean? Things like do, that. A lot Lights. Of 12, a lot of 12 volt. Yeah. A lot of 12 volt. Yeah. So and then we'll run 12 volt as well. But this nice, this would be wide open to run those channels. It'd be nice to put like a light. You see it right, right above Tom's head on each side of the bed, yeah. like a light or something up yeah. there. Was two little 12 volt LED. Yeah. Anyway, so then the uh, then the, what do the barn boards go on here. Um, I was going to put another uh, channel here, but I think the insulation will hold it will hold it off the wall and will we'll keep it, even if it it won't clunk anyway. So um, Shipley told me to run several boards between here and here. Yeah. And then notch it out. And that way then you don't have to use any conduit or anything for the wiring. You just run it through oh, and yeah. lay it in the track. And just lay it in. Yeah. yeah. And it will be perfect. So. Well, and then, and then it's accessible too. We were going to put... We were going to put one here as well. And I may. This was the toughest one to do. I was, I was had a little bit of PTSD over those, but... Um, if we did that, and what I okay, so you had talked about putting T track in. Definitely up front for the cab. Where we're oh, here, I got right it. Here, I don't need T track. Okay. Because we're not really attaching anything. Right. Substantial, but then I can just lay the uh, electrical cables either in between there. Yeah. That side there'll be a water hose, and that, you want that on the bottom. We'll attach that right here. The water. Yeah. Right. And so you don't think we'll have anything under the bed on that side? that we need to attach or use? Uh -uh. Okay. You know, but there'll be one right here anyway, Laura. Okay, yeah. There'll be one there anyway, so. Okay, let's do that one. So I need my drill. You guys remember this? <laughs> this is quite the, uh, here. Okay. okay, I'm gonna bring them back here closer to the. I'm gonna need your help. Yep. Bring you guys safely out of the area of movement here. And also, you'll get some. Yeah, 40. You're almost at 45 degrees, so we're up five degrees from before. So it's not bad. You spend some time sitting over by the air chat. Right. Can you do me a favor on the charger out there? Can you go swap these batteries? Yeah, right by the back of the... Um... Where? On 
Oh. Oh. There's a charger. Okay. On the ground. Can you just swap batteries for me? Please? Yeah. You should take pics of your adventures and travels and food and modifications so you can share the visuals with us in Discord. Okay. Oh, I think he's talking. To, I think she's talking to Blob. <laughs> that would actually be amazing. <laughs> okay. All right, so I just swapped these. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Shots here, so. Alright, do you want one of those more? Huh? I don't, I don't know. It depends if. No, go ahead. I can. I need you to hold that. Okay. Like, like flush to the top there? Yeah, or... I think that's good. Okay. Is dropping the kids off at the pool a thing of the past? Do people still do that? <laughs> That's a good hammer. Hammer's like, I don't know, are you, he's obviously going, hey, is that what we do anymore? <laughs> is he trying to think? I don't know. I mean. I think Tucker's a little bit young. That's hilarious. But I don't know. They do it over here. Do they drop them off? Over here? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they have lifeguards and stuff. You probably have to be a certain age. Yeah. Nice. I saw that suck right in. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> get a close-up video of one of these we're going to use the other oh. gopro and it's, it's laying well by the door opener yeah i'm gonna have you film a couple of these. yay shana very good now you can chill right Yeah, that would be cool, like a graphic comic. Yeah, because this is really turning out to be. So did I miss it? Somebody tell me what, so I'm I'm back, like I've got the plot. Um, what is Blob arming himself for? <laughs> what kind of conflict are we gonna have here? Just to make the leap out. I have Blob, yes. There's a whole story going on in chat. 
but I've lost the plot a little bit. Well, if you guys can somehow materialize him into a, a real human, he can come help with the bus. I know, <laughs> with his magical abilities. Possible conflict. And that, not really useful. What? What? I get, I don't get it. What? Did I miss something? T's saying we missed something, Tom. Okay. About, is dropping the kids off at the pool, in quotes, a thing of the past? Do people still do that? Is there some, and T is like, whoosh. And now, and then... Oh, they're saying we dropped them off at the pool and just left them hanging, or what? I don't know. T said you should probably explain that to them. Shayna's like, uh, y'all behave. I don't even know what you're talking about. I thought he was being serious. <laughs> she, what? There. Hey, Tide. Yeah, it feels nice too. Like, it's nice. It feels, do you know what I mean? Just kind of clean, fresh. How's it going? It's good to see you. Blob laughing at the phrase. So even Blob gets it? What? I guess maybe it was never a thing for Tom and I? Yeah, the kids, we get, the kids just walk over the pool. <laughs> no, I don't think it's really what we're thinking, honey. I think there's something we're missing. See, hmm. <laughs> At least I've clocked on that I don't know what's going on. He just discovered it. Maybe Google it. I could. Okay. Let's see. What? What the ever loving hell? You can figure it out. Well, Urban Dictionary has got a nastier version, but it looks like. It's, it's pooping. To release feces into a toilet. An urban... <laughs> no, he did not. He didn't finish it yet. We're going to do that. Um, after we do bus, we'll go back in and... We'll figure out what we're going to, we'll probably just do soup for dinner as well. And, um, and then finish the ISS. Yeah. Tide noticed your hat. So he noticed you were rocking the NASA hat. He said, did he finish the ISS? I didn't. Guys, you're getting butt shots today. I know everybody poops, but I'll tell you yeah. urban dictionary. I didn't click on urban dictionary. I just did dropping the kids off at the pool, but urban dictionary, it's gross. That was the first result that came up, and that's where I gasped because I'm like, what are you all talking about? 
And if you saw what I saw, you'd be wondering why Hammer was asking about that. Whittles the end of one of the two by twos to make a toothpick. Hi, creep. <laughs> That's the one I know of. Yeah, semen. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. I need to drink more. Hang out with you guys. <laughs> Dixie. And then... Dixie shows up. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? And then Dixie shows up. Hi, After that... Com oh, you didn't see what Urban Dictionary had to say about it. Oh, I heard. What? Dropping the kids at the pool? Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, it is like yeah. that, but Urban Dictionary has it I, I don't, as something else. Yeah, I, don't, I don't need to know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear me laughing? I was guffawing outside. Oh, were you? I was like, no shit. <laughs> Was so, I know. That's why I'm like, why do you bring that up of all things? Okay. Yeah. No, I know. That used to be a thing. Chef John Reed's now gone to a PG stream, so that stuff won't happen. But man, there was a little time there where there were, hey, look this up and look this up. And I was doing it and I was like, oh my God. Yeah, you can't unsee that stuff. Yeah, me either, Tide. Yeah, don't. <laughs> no. Not going to do it. 21 and a half. 21 and a half. Do you need me to... Just ask me if you need me to take... Go outside. Yeah, I'm going to need you. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's just going to take a minute, right? I don't need to take them. Here. I'll just leave you guys here. That way you don't have to listen to the thing. I don't know that you'll be able to hear anyway. I didn't think I did. All right. Yeah, I got it. I thought I had to, I thought I needed you for that long piece. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm right in. Okay. okay. All right. He had a shorter piece. He didn't need me after all. What? You do need me? He does need me, chat. <laughs> It is nicer in here. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, I need to hold. Hi.
Hi, Tykan. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, I know you, you came in to listen at an interesting time as well. Right there. <laughs> Right there. Okay. I just want it somewhat square, you know? Yep. Innocent AF, Dixie, <laughs> legit. I know what the T and you can call me, T means trouble. Absolutely tied. You have caught on, that is so true. Lala is kind of like our favorite Italian. Gotta learn her lots of stuffs. <laughs> I haven't heard that before. <laughs> like T is like like I haven't heard that before. My family went to the restaurant of the same name in another town. Wow, Shayna. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Tom. Shayna said, Well, my family went to the rest. She was worried about getting to the restaurant and all that. Her family went to another restaurant of the same name in another town today she was supposed to meet him for lunch and so she's like with the storms we're not going to drive so it's lunch alone for her <laughs> for shana and cliff oh my gosh <laughs> is that how did you go <laughs> i don't want to ask <laughs> shana is that like is that like a woohoo moment or is that like an oh shit whatever moment yeah. This place is a vodka distillery, so she's having a Bloody Mary. <laughs> oh. oh, they're at there right, they're there right now? <clears throat> yeah, they went. She got to the restaurant first, so she was waiting for her family. Yeah. Then she finds out her family went to the same restaurant in another town. That is crazy. Distillery, so. I'm sad to miss seeing them. Don't know how they're long, Excellent. how long they're in town. Is Cliff having seafood? Never. Never? Never the seafood? <laughs> Tied. <laughs> Sheets. Let her have a few Bloody Marys first. There you go. Cheers, Shayna. You know what? But maybe it's just a short visit or something. You know what I mean? Or meet him after lunch somewhere. You know? Getting flash fried French toast in a Grand Marnay egg batter with rosemary potatoes and best biscuit bath burrito. Holy camoli. That sounds like fancy restaurant. 
sounds fancy. Nine and seven eighths, chat. Nine and seven eighths. Nine and seven eighths what? That looks really good. Nine and seven eighths. Okay. Yeah, I, I need your help on this one. Okay. Please. Great chat. Nine and seven eighths. Nine and seven eighths. Nine and seven eighths. There we go. Be right back, chat. Okay. French toast with French fries and chorizo. It sounds Let's hold it up just a little bit. Like right here? Hold it up? Yep, you ready? Okay. We're going to take off just a smidgen. I just want to put it aside. <laughs> yep, pat pat, pat pat. Hey, Z, Z, Z N Q, zinc, zinc. Zinction? What? Just need you to adjust. Um, you want me to? Just, uh, just put your finger right there. Good? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Close enough. Yeah. French toast with French fries and chorizo. Yeah. That does sound amazing, doesn't it? It's local goodness. Bardenay. It really does sound amazing. Welcome posh. It does sound posh. Good. Those are called American fries. I love those with onions and peppers. Mm, yeah. Yeah, we actually had a lighter, we had a lighter lunch. We had some of the, um, that vegetable soup. And um, a little bit of the whole grain bread. Feeling good. Now I'm doing. Uh, now I'm doing the vegetables again, from Bloody Mary. So. Thanks for that, Shayna. Oh, you posted your Bloody Mary? Let me see. Is it fancy? Is it fancy? Oh, Clab posted. There's only about 30 draws I got with CD and DVD, but I will find it's gonna take a bit. Oh my gosh. 
What you looking for? Clab. Clab. Clab just showed he was looking for a, I don't know, a CD or something. He's looking for something. Anyway, he posted a picture of like a CD collection. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen that. Do we still have all of those bins of CDs somewhere? Yeah, those two left. Just ones. the ones that were signed? Yeah. God, we had bins and bins. With Tom working for a radio station, well, it's just like... Can you guys see the... We may need to run to the station, by the way. Why? AC went out, and I might need to put a fan. That's my luster call. So we're watching it. So at some point, we may need to take a road trip. Okay. Well, we can show so, we can show Shat the swing by swing by home people get a high volume van and just try to blow some air. Yep. We can show a marathon village. Yeah. It's not a secret where you work, you've already put it out there, so just, Huh? Yeah. Um I don't I don't we wouldn't take them inside the radio station, but yeah, Oh, you would? Yeah. Okay. Field trip. We may have to take a field trip. We'll see. AC went out at the studio, and it's not good for the equipment when it gets hot. So. Well, we know that. That's why chat's over by the air conditioner, staying cool. And it's interesting because when things start to get pixelated, you know the phone's getting hot. That's that's like a symptom of it overheating. What time is it right now? We could do this. If we do this right now, we could be done. We could go do it and be done. And I won't have to worry about it later. Come what? Back. Huh? What? Go set up some, go get some fans and set them up. Do you have to buy some? Yeah, but Lester and I already talked about it, so. He's way south. Ooh, that looks amazing, Shayna. Ooh, is that okra? Oh, it's definitely asparagus, olive, lime, lemon. It almost looks like okra and a celery. Okay. Let's do, let's get these last ones in. I need to move this down there. Voila. Yeah. We need to move this, push your block. Okay. Where do you you want to put it? Down there. Down here. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. <gasps> Ouch. Oh, man. Shit. Ouch. Yeah, Damn. That hurt. Yep, that did hurt. Fuck. I, uh, I didn't I see it. it. I got it. Nope, I got it. Damn. Ouch. Shit. I wonder if it's almost like I got a bunch of little splinters off the edge of it, yeah, like shoved did. it into my foot. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> well, that's what running around with no shoes will do. The funny thing, not the funny thing, but I, I just looked at that before you did, even did that. Yeah. I thought. Ouch. Work boots. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't wearing dumb, stupid shoes. I wasn't wearing any shoes. <laughs> I'm barefoot right now. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Ouch. Damn. just jabbed me good but it's not bleeding it's not nope <laughs> oh. dude you raise boys <laughs> I know. Right there. kind of making me want to load up my saws and drills and come help you guys 
Who's that? Creep. Creep, you're welcome to come in. We have, if you want to just... Yeah, we've got an extra room. Come and hang out, dude. Come hang out. We would have you anytime, love. Anytime. Okay, you want to... All right, that looks really nice over there, Tom. Huh? That looks really nice over there. Like the um, the framing underneath, it looks really good. Thanks. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Scoop down next. Huh? Do you want a um, pad for your knees? No. I'm good. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna lift it up right there, and it's gonna go underneath. Okay. So underneath this one, right? Yeah. Just but right yep. there. Yep. And I'm gonna get this one in there, and it'll be close oh, enough. Oh, sorry. Be close enough. Wait, wait. I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Don't worry. Oh. I was gonna say <laughs> it's not level. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. Ready? Yep. Wait. Okay. No name. You sleep in love. How are you sleeping in all this noise? Here we go. Wake your ass up. <laughs> yep, you begin and now ending your day with us. Yeah. Oh, is it? it? Yeah, I guess it's right. It's about, it's getting to be about bedtime. Is it? time is it there oh it's almost two here already jeez is that the no name yeah <laughs> what's his name what's their name it's uh, this username does not this exist, does not exist. Yeah. yeah i keep wanting to call him i mean we could call him bob It's not going anywhere. Or John. You're not moving. <laughs> John Doe. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. You might be John. Mr. Doe. Hi, guys. No apparent name. There you go, Johnny, no name. Blob, name making, taken apart. KT 17th hand blaster. Creep said, I have two table saws. Oh my God, he's got two of everything. He's like you, Tom. <laughs> How did that even happen, Creep? I know the story with Tom. Okay, so Tom, Creep says, I have two table saws, two miter saws, two corded drills, two battery drills, one battery impact drill, three corded sanders, and one battery sander. Yep, because you can't have enough sanders. Well, we're going to need a bunch of sanders for the bus. Orbital sanders. Ooh, steak and eggs with toast. That. Sounds really good with a citrus bowl as a side. When you're at the store and forget what you got. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, right tide. That's exactly how that happens. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I also have two jigsaws and a Craig jig. Wow. And a battery reciprocating saw. Where are you keeping all this stuff? Tom. Yeah. Creep also says he has two jigsaws and a Craig's jig and a battery reciprocating saw. Hey, Creep. So Creep's got a whole workshop, so he said. Creep, between, between me and you, we can actually start, uh, we can have load three trailers for a construction company. Because <laughs> I have all of that stuff. <laughs> Plus three routers. I have two table saws, two flooring saws. My Lord. Two uh, recorded reciprocating saw and all, and I have a whole tote of yellow tools that is one of each of everything too, which I'm going to sell. Unbelievable amount of stuff. Mala, can I have that, um, that pencil right there, please? So we could start a uh, outfit another trailer. Tide says, "Can you build?" Can you build me a table? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tea, oranges and grapefruits peeled. Creeps like, yes, we can. Build a table. Oh, you have a lot of green tools. What are, what are the green tools? I don't know. I don't know that. Oh, Ryobi. Okay, that's what Tom's uh, saw out there is right now. Creep said he has a lot of green tools. Yeah, Ry Ryobi? Yep. For those of you that don't know, tools are known by their color, not their name. Tom, uh, Tom, right Tom, green. now he used to do yellow. Everything was yellow. Now everything is red because our nephew works for Milwaukee tools. So he's actually an engineer he with them. And he went to school at Milwaukee School of Engineering. Yep. And so, so, we're very so we, so, so we support Milwaukee now just because we've got, got family there. Shana says, I have pink pretend tools. <laughs> have what? Pink pretend tools. They, they make pink tools, but not... And Creep says, both of my miter saws are Ryobi. One is a compound miter, and the other is a dual slide compound miter. I noticed a young Ryobi, uh, the salesperson, lives across the street from my son. I don't know. Hands in the Wild has seen the Ryobi truck, but... T said, I have a hammer and a screwdriver. <laughs> Hi, guys. Sometimes that's all you need, T. Need to frame out that real quick. But you're also married to a mechanic who probably has everything. The <laughs> creep's like, I need some of those, T. Hammers and screwdrivers. Okay, seven and a half. This is going pretty fast. You're on a roll. Yeah, I'm going to have the, everything framed on this wall in about five minutes. Okay. Just tell me what you need. I have no idea what that garage is stuffed with. Yeah, that's like me. I, Tom can rattle this stuff off. I don't know that this stuff exists. I do not go down into the garage for anything. Yeah, no, it is. But T and I are, are talking. Don't you worry about it. Cliff, Cliff had me send a 2100 Lego piece Concord for Tom. What? <laughs> what? Cliff, Cliff had me, Cliff had me sent a 2100 Lego piece Concord for Tom. Never a dude that didn't own garage stuff. I do my best. Never had a dude that didn't. Yeah. 
Yeah, Cliff has a bunch of shit he doesn't use. Tom started to use more of it, but the problem is, is like when we're down in Florida, working on those places down there, he always comes up with, I don't have this tool. I don't have this tool. It's back in Nashville. And it's like, so, oh my God. So we buy another one. So next time we go to Florida, what I do is I load up my truck. I have two work boxes. I'll load it up with all my tools. Take down the there. duplicates. Yeah. I need nope. Take the duplicates down there. If we want to sell stuff, we can always sell it down there too, you know, but I would just take the duplicates down. Yeah, what is that, Shayna? I mean, had he had you send it to Tom? How? My husband uses it all. It just looks like chaos in there to me. I want to organize it so bad. I yeah, I I can't. What, I what the garage? We're just talking about yeah. T, T and her, no, it's not you. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking, T's yeah. talking about, I'm reading yeah, what I'm T's saying. saying. If, if you want to put together a, um, a, a collective, a cohort of organizers, we can, we can house them for a weekend. To help you with your garage? Yeah. yeah, I would be okay with that. You can only stay for the weekend. <laughs> Nobody can move in. Nobody can move in. But if you all want to come down and help Tom organize shit, the thing is he won't let me in there, but he'll, he'll let you guys in there. No, you'll help. <laughs> you'll, you'll lead it. Because I'm going to leave. Tom needs knee pads. He doesn't like the knee pads, Creek. Wow. Like, he doesn't like knee pads. He picked the he picked out this these gardening no, things. Knee pads, um, no. It's like I think they, they get in the way. Well, I think they push on his patella in a way that hurts him. He always says they hurt. So these are actually really nice. They're like memory foam, so they're really nice and cushy. The blobs, blobs. Blob is busy, man. Hey, Dixie. I just had an idea for you for your... Um... I don't know if she's... She hasn't posted in a while. Is Dixie here? Creep says Harbor Freight has some red ones that are reasonably comfy. I have a couple different pairs. I have some that are really high-end ones, which are just cumbersome. If Dixie's there, let me know. I have an idea for knee pads for her website. She has that merch website. Posted it in Discord. All right, I'm going to go and see what that is, too. Okay. Tape oh, my God. What? i got to walk out and get my tape major now. I could get it for I'm you. I'm just not bringing my tools in with me. Why don't you have, why don't you have a hydrate moment? I'm going to. I'm going to get my tape major and my pencil. i got one, one left over here. What? I have one piece left over the wheel well. Yep. Do you need me for that or no? Yeah, I will. Okay. I need to wash this floor. My feet are very dirty, chat. Yeah, he picked those out. He get the he just he wanted. I think he likes freedom. Uh, that was that was either T or Shana said get the garden knee pads. Yeah, was their idea. And they're actually nice. They're yeah, really perfect. um, they're very cushy. Tide says I have gel ones that are nice. That's an idea, actually. <laughs> Guys, I went out and got the pencil and forgot the tape. Blob is preparing for war. I know it's like. <laughs> Yep, garden pads for the win. Yep. He loves them. And the price was right, too. I think they were five bucks a piece yeah, or something. Yeah. Okay, hold this down. Got it? Yep. 
45 and a quarter. Bring the, come down just a little bit to underneath, right there. Go up. Go up where you were. Oh, it's 46 and a quarter. Come down. 46 and a quarter is fine. Okay. We're going to go. I'm going to have to use one of those. I'm going to use one of the good ones. 46 and a quarter. I don't know. Just measure. Uh, I'm going to have to use this one. You got a sample? I can't, I can't get it below there. Are you sure? Nope. Nope. So I have to go just underneath here. That'll be fine. 46 and a quarter. Okay. Do you need help cutting it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Be right back, chat. different shot of this here. Okay. Ready? Yep. Just want me to hold it? Yeah, just move that uh, bucket and that bag out of the way and then... Thanks. Uh, all this wood is just for, these are just for attachment points for the, for the siding that's going on. That's, so we're framing, and I'll just cut the boards on a, on an angle. They don't have to be, they're, they're attached there, they're fine. Yeah. We'll just cut out. But this is going to get framed in anyway, about that Yeah, height. this is going to end up being a closet. It's going to get framed in right there, so, so this is perfect. We need that anyway. Okay. Here, let's move this out so of the way. I'm going to have to um, mark those stupid... What? That's where the, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Oh, well, and there's one here, too. Did you, you, you only got the... I'm worried about the ones that are underneath the board. Oh, okay. This is mo this moves. That's fine. It's not attached. You know I don't even have it screwed in yet. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's uh, bring it down this way. There you go. Ready? Yep. opens up a comm link and reads messages. God, we've graduated from blob touching hot stoves. This is crazy. I'm picturing blob with a drum gun. <laughs> Oh. 
You good? Yeah. That's good too. That was good? Yeah, Sounded like it was good for you. Full body workout right here. <laughs> I'm glad we did restorative yoga this morning. <laughs> Is Blob going to help protect his favorite earthlings? Possibly T. <laughs> it's Sunday, Lala gets shit done day. Got some photon torpedoes. Woo. Woo, nice job. I didn't know if that was a good noise or a bad one. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, that, that sound is it going through the metal. I'm just so happy. I mean, so, I feel finally after working out for however many months I've been working out again, I finally feeling feel, good. Finally feel like it's making a difference. That's awesome. That's so great, isn't it? Oh no wait, no. Oh, then a waste Tom made, I see. Look at the smoke on that thing. Did you see that? <laughs> nice. So we need to mark a, um, mark a spot where we can put two. One there. One there. Okay. Yep. Right between. So what we're doing, guys, is we're going we're gonna to attempt to put a screw right there and a screw right there. This is where we've made the, the slot that goes over those rivets. Yep. Nice. Frame job. Creep asked, are you going to put in uh, verticals above the ridge? I am. I am. Yes. We were discussing that earlier. We're going to. I'm going to put at least one, two, three, four, probably six, and then we'll drill holes. We'll drill half-inch holes in them, probably before we put them in to run cabling through the electrical cables, uh, 12 volt and 120. Yeah. Let's see what he see what he thinks about that. T said, Tom, a Greek god. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Another six months, guys. Have patience. Yep, have patience and take little steps toward what you want to do. That's it. That's all you got to do. Do you want, here, let me go get another one. Oops. Uh, should I, is the one on the ground charged or do I get the one that's been on the charger? You're going through them kind of fast. You can push the button on it and if it has four red lights, it means it's charged. Okay. It's charged pretty fast. Okay. I don't know where to where you're talking about pushing a button. On the very front there's a little round button. Oh, yeah. Four four little lights. Yep. Okay. And it has a self uh, just so you guys know these um walkie batteries, these um, red lithiums have a charge light on them so you know. 
That's what I like about these uh, Maki tools, and I'm sure other ones have them too, but you just push this button if you want to see how charged it is. And four means a full charge. Plus, while it's on the charger, you can see that as it gets charged, it'll have another one. But if you just wonder where it's at. And these impact drivers, once it gets down to one, one bar, it hardly works. Um, you know when it's going to quit. But. So Clav had some wisdom. Each day is an opportunity to travel back into tomorrow's past and change it. Ready? Nice. Yeah, mine. Got it. Got it in between there, guys. In the hole. I know, isn't I love that one. That's very cool. <laughs> It's not moving. Think you might have caught it? Yeah, and there's steel rivet there. there. Yeah. Oh boy. Woo, that's hot. Shit, dude. Fucking too high. Well, and now there's already a hole there, so I guess you do it off center. Yeah. Is there another brace underneath that or something? Huh? Wow. Holy shit. awkward guys wow i was going to be really impressive that was really weird well you're at two separate levels Did you ever even bring it in? Oh. All right, I'm gonna go in and refill. What would you like? Can we get you anything? Snacks. Snacks? What do you want? Want some Cheez-Its? No. Take no? Some, take some of those uh, hot, cheese, hot cheese curls. Oh, Cheetos? All right, I get Cheez-Its for me and Cheetos for you. And I will take a Pepsi out of the fridge. And a Pepsi? All right, with ice, are you gonna put it in there? Do you need more ice? Do you want me to just dump yeah. it and put ice in there? Just put ice in here and bring me the Pepsi and uh, okay. I can come in with you. Well, it's fine, you can talk to chat. Happy to do it. There's a good bit of ice in here, okay. Oh, guys. All right, snacks. <sighs> Oh, Sweat my. Oh okay, God, I got them. I'm gonna turn them. I was gonna say turn them so they can see you. I'm gonna turn them. They don't really want to see me, but I'll. Uh, well, yeah. I'll get my chat phone. Okay. All right, guys. That was. Um, it's hot here today. I don't really know how warm it is, but it feels warm. So. Definitely feels warm. Definitely feels warm.
Okay, so that, that side is pretty much done. We're gonna add some, we'll add some verticals in there. I may cut those real quick and do those. That way the net side is done. Um, I'm not gonna put them over the rivets. I'm just gonna kinda guess where I want them. I'll probably put them, let me get the Sharpie. We'll just kinda mark where we're gonna put them. So up here, we're going to do some, we're going to do a piece of T-track up here, so I'm not going to put any verticals, but we will definitely do verticals here. Definitely do one here. And I'll do two more in the back. On that side. So we'll do one, two, three, we'll do four. And then I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do that T track up there. I have all the wiring, which is great. It'll be easy to put in. I'll just, we'll just put it in and leave some excess. I'll put the boxes in. Oh, yeah, okay. We have to do that too. We have to figure out where we're gonna put the boxes. And now what we're gonna do on each side, each side will be two separate circuits. I'll just put, it'll be two outlets on one circuit. So the bus will have a total of, for electrical, we'll have a total of one, two, three, four one two three four and in the kitchen we'll have one two in the back so that's three circuits and then in the kitchen we'll have two circuits as well we'll put the fridge on its own and then we'll have an accessory for the hot plate on its own so that way then if we trip the breakers we won't have to everything won't trip um, and we'll put 15 and 20 amp breakers in. So we're gonna put the double, the double density breakers, which it has two breakers on one outlet or on one circuit breaker. Two, two breakers on one unit. So we'll have five total circuits. Creep factor, yeah, we're gonna use, um, we're gonna use, we're not using drywall or plywood, we're using um, barn board, uh, lap board. It's uh, whitewashed, um, we priced it compared to the wainscoting and it's a little bit more expensive but it gives us the look that we want. So, give us that beach house look. Yeah, we're not using drywall. And that's that was I'm sorry, that was tide, the tides. Yeah, I'll um I can show a link to it. Let me get let me get a link to it right now because it looks really nice. What was the name of that? It was called what was the name of that board? Lap siding? Lap board siding? Um shiplap. Shiplap? Shiplap. So let me I'll just post a picture of it because it's really nice. Uh, that we were talking about what what we're going to do the siding in. Okay. Here we go. Guys. Woo. Cheese it. Bag closed. Huh? Okay. The bag know. wasn't closed. Oh, well. Huh? I don't know. Um, so 
It was a pre. Yeah. I think I bruised it. <laughs> it like jabbed. It didn't bleed. It's just. Yeah. So we'll just. I'll just share this with you. This is Thanks, kind. Of, this is kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. That's very much. So I'll just. Um, yeah, it's gonna be. Um, it may not look as distressed as that. I think we're gonna go with more of a whitewash. Yeah. Yeah. I feel, not they, necessarily a distress. They're not showing that stuff. Oh, there it is. That one was more that's like it. That's paint. it. The one we're looking at. Yeah. That's it. Like that's it. That's yeah. it. Here we go. I, I think wish. it'll look nice with the floor. I share this. Creep says, I like T and G, but shiplap looks nice too. What's T and G? Tongue and groove. Oh, tongue and groove. Yeah, the, here we go. This this is um did I, did I get rid of you guys? Oh, I'm sorry, I shut you off. Well, shoot. Here we go. Here's a, I think I can post a link, right? So I did see that little, that little thing with Blob going in T's lap. And, and yeah, the little exchanger, that was hilarious. To go for the record. Drywall would crack in a vehicle. It'd have to be wallboard or plywood. Yeah. I do Luan. Luan is nice. And thin TNG or shiplap. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And we had looked at the uh, the Wayne. What is Wayne's coating? Is that one of those things? No. Nah, yeah, kind of. It's kind of like shiplap. I mean, kind of like um the stuff we were looking at was a vinyl though. Yeah. So, which is kind of indestructible. Which is why we were looking at it, because we could pretty much do anything. I wish I could find a real barn that we could salvage. That would have been nice, but... Yeah, that would take a lot of work to redo every single board. Yep. You know? We just don't have that kind of time. The ship <laughs> lap, I think, will end up giving it that look. You know? Kind of the rustic, homey... Yeah. Feel. But I do like the whitewash. It gives it even a more of a beachy, like white. Which I think is cool. Your friend shared a link. Oh, Home Depot product I think we'd be interested in. Oh. <laughs> oh, Pied said that'll look great. Yep. Blob sending requests for executive office for fleet reports. Holy cow. Spirit. I'm telling you, Blob is up to his game from like, eating nails and things. I'm kind of wondering what happened. Somebody took over Blob's body. You can take the beach with you no matter where you go. Yep. Exactly. You guys, I swear, we're going to have such a party when we pull up for the first time in the bus and I finally get to that point where what I've, I've literally dreamed about, you know, going just on the edge <coughs> of a place where there's like a rock cliff and the ocean and we spend the night there, you know. In our journey, we will find that place. And when it when we do, everybody's gonna know about it. <laughs> if MacGyver was an assassin, it'd be Blob. <laughs> <coughs> Absolutely. Guys, the Cheetos. I'm still eating that same bag of Cheetos that's upside down. Been eating these for two weeks. No, we didn't have any last weekend. Hmm? We didn't have any last weekend. Mm -mm. Okay. 
Blob is technically a trained assassin. Holy shit. <laughs> Blob is our warrior hero we did whatever we needed. <laughs> I'm designing, you guys. Well, think out loud. So I'm looking at the walls, and I'm thinking about where I'm going to put the T-track, where I'm going to put the verticals, where I'm running the wiring. And then not just that, where, how am I going to mount the boxes? We need shallow pan electrical boxes, and we need boxes for both the 120 and the 12-volt. So, are we gonna do? So, how do we determine where we need 12 volt and where we? I mean, we need we need both throughout the bus, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a small bus. It's gonna be open. We'll just we'll just kind of. So, if we needed something after you run the wire, if we needed something after, say we finished, right? And then we're like, no, we need we need 12 volt here mm -hmm. for this thing. We can take the ship flap out, yeah. like unscrew a board or two, mm -hmm. and then what do you splice? Do you take you know where the electrical is running in the I walls, can, and then you just splice and I put could. a box? I could. Yeah. Just leave enough. Leave enough um, play in between the two instead of running tight, mm -hmm. like leave some coil so that you can insert mm -hmm. more later. The 120 is gonna be fine. We're gonna be close to where we need them. Mm -hmm. But like underneath the underneath the cabinets, if I need additional, mm -hmm. I'll just come off the circuit that we put in. Like I'll put two low over here behind the cabinets. Right. And I'll leave extra extra wire sticking out. Yeah. We're going to split the circuit so, so we don't have the same issue like we have on the boat. I'll have two circuits in the kitchen so not, if you trip a breaker, not everything goes dead. Right. That'd be good. Especially like have the fridge on one. And the coffee pot, you know what I mean? The cooking mm -hmm. things on the other, the yep. heat, heat, cold on one and heat yep. on the other. Yep. Ty says Cheetos is a great way to brainstorm. <laughs> Tide says, have you ever seen the movie Secret Life of Walter Mitty? Yes, it's very good. Yep. Is that laptop Alienware? It is creep, yes. Tom Tom got it for me because um, we were doing some gaming on it. So Laura wanted to start streaming and she got was gaming and she and I she made me you have a brand new another brand new laptop that we never use, right? It's not brand new, no. The one I bought two months before that one. It was a really cheap one. It wasn't two months before that one. Okay. It was over a year. Yeah. But I'm just saying we don't use it, right? No. No, it's the one on the desk. Oh. It gets used, yeah. Okay. Um. Anyway. Sorry, all I heard. So, yeah. She was getting into streaming, and so I just went out and got her the the, the machine. And, well, they're, and they are great. I, and I run, and it, it sounds like it's going to take off anytime I use it, because when you do Streamlabs plus, like, New World trying to do both, it gets so hot. Like, so I'm glad I got it. I don't think a regular laptop would be able to handle it. Most people use desktops. I know. I'm mobile, though. Yeah. Desktops so. are not. So that's why we got it, and we can always, just gotta keep it cool. T said, sorry, all I heard was Tom is thinking about mounting. 
Pi says Cheetos is a great way to brainstorm. Um, Hans in the Wild said they make an RV panel that has both 12 volt and 120 breakers. That's what I want. And I haven't found one yet. If you, if anybody finds one, post it in Discord. If you're on our Discord, please put it in the um, tech section, right? Mm -hmm. If they find some t ideas, tech section. Mm -hmm. There's an idea section in there. Yeah, for bus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if there's already one, like a topic that you're looking at in the threaded discussion forum, I should put some more topics in there so people can just put their ideas. Um, you can plunk them in there too. Guys, and we give away, we're going to give away prizes and merch and stuff. If people do research and we use your idea, um, we'll send you stickers, merch, we'll send you swag. Got to get some shirts we'll get some. We're going to get some stickers made and we're going to get some, um, some more shirts made. Mm -hmm. I think we're ready for to send out a bunch to our core, the Dream Team. Yeah. Christmas is coming. Yep. So. I'd get a cool fan to sit on. Oh, a cooling fan. Blob sends request a personal flagship to send hammerhead tanks. And Mako transports to workshop. That's like shark stuff. Oh. Creep show, are you okay if I get some if I if I use the logo that you made on some of our stuff? Like if I put it on my personal shirt? Have a Carpe DM shirt made with logo on the back and put the creep show logo on the front pocket. That would be fun. Who says absolutely you're yours to do as you please? Okay. That is really sweet. Those are very cool. Five escort class carriers to reinforce the fleet. What the hell, man? Cool. I'm waiting to see what's attacking that blob is. I think he's replaying the drone ship attack that happened last week. <laughs> Maybe it's gone back in time. Okay. He said it would be an honor for you to use my design. Might need to play with the font a little bit. If it's going on screen print. Mm. On Papa Tom. I love the signature series look, but... Maybe. You know more about that than I do. Tom knows merch. I do need to get some, some more shirts done, though. Yeah. Oh. What happened? Oh, thanks for following, Tycan. 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 I'm. How. Let me know how I pronounce that, love. Thank you for the follow. All right. Appreciate it. T-Can, got it. Thank you. Oh my God, okay. I'm sitting here eating all the cheeses. Because we did good. We've been doing good. You know what? If this is as bad as it gets, then... Oh, well, Pepsi bad. for me. Well, I mean, I have a Bloody Mary, too. Salt and alcohol. All right. I got to decide if I'm going to go, go rig up some fans real quick so we don't go off the air. And then come back and finish this whole side. Well. Or if I should try to knock out, let me um, let me make a phone call real quick. Okay. Let's see if I can get that temp in there. 
because it's not cloudy, so mm -hmm. it's not, I mean, it's not sunny. There's no direct sun beating in those windows. Not anymore. <sighs> now, maybe downtown, I don't know. We have 80, we have a, uh, we have reflectance, reflectix on the windows. Still, the heat's up the side, but. Do, is there not like a building manager? Not on, not on call today. I mean, if the air goes out, isn't that a landlord thing? Mm -mm. It's a tenant thing. Really? Yeah. Each tenant is in charge of their own air? Depends on your deal. Wow. Depends on your deal. Not for... Oh, tea, the soup was amazing this morning. It was. It really was. Breakfast soup was amazing. It wasn't really breakfast. It was like, by the time we ate, it was 11.30, almost noon. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that awesome creep. Wow, he's making some uniquely. He said, without my show across the top, making them uniquely yours. That is unbelievable. Oh, wow. Oh, dumb. We were going to, we were fine with having the creep show on ours. I definitely that's want, I definitely <laughs> want, want to do some stuff with the one that says creep show because that's just kind of cool. It's a collab. It's a partnership. But I also like the, that thought too. That's amazing because I, we had a, be a good uh, name. <laughs> Shane has made it back home to a whiny dog. Yay. Uh, All right. Nice. Well, you got a chance to have just a nice morning out with Cliff. That's good. Yep. Now you can figure out how to connect with the fam. Yeah, that kind of sucks that you miss that, but... Maybe dinner. Maybe she's good. Like, no, she said she wanted to see him. Um, maybe even just have him over for just, like, you know, an evening happy hour or something. Say, I've got to work in the morning, but, like, come over for... There's not too many of them. And now T wants now now T wants uh, steak and shrimp. Steak and shrimp. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna run into an issue here anyway, Laura. Laura, we're gonna run into an issue anyway because we're gonna have to pull the router out. So we let's just get as far as we can before we do that. Okay. Um, or I can pull that out right now and we can route. I mean, we can do the bottom. Route four. They all need to be routed. They, everything that we put on this wall was routed because of the. I just we underestimated. Just mass route stuff. I do. I need. I need to route six of six of these. Okay. So we may just do that. If it needs to be done, it's you know. Yeah. It's kind of like our meditation this morning. Yeah. Progress. All it takes is a step forward or a drop. You know. Yeah. Just keep doing that. Be patient. Keep moving forward. Friday night was canceled too. Much stressful. Oh. Creep says, check your Discord in 10 seconds. Okay. Which was probably... Wow. So that's pretty amazing. What kind of tools do you have, Creep, that you can do this, like, magical visual work? I need to stop eating Cheez-Its, guys. I think I might have a problem. Fleet Formation Katana is meant to organize a fleet to prioritize carriers and cruisers. Wow. I do feel like I'm in this alternative storybook. 
here with Blau. Okay. And I'm thinking Blitz must be just having like a stream of consciousness right now. Like, I want to know, is Blitz a writer too? Do we have like a, I feel like we've got another writer in our midst, to be honest. I resist buying a giant thing of goldfish today. <laughs> That's my second favorite cheese cracker, but it's just not as cheesy as cheese. Okay. Um. All right. Let's go get the router out. Let me. Um. That's not blood, is that? What is that red? That's the Cheetos. Oh. I was going to say, that's not even a natural yeah. red color. No. It's not. Hey, Vidian. What is this channel about? So, we are basically IRL channel. Um, we normally, right now, we're streaming on the weekends. Um, we've got a boat that we usually do um, some streams from the marina or out on the boat or out on the water or kayaking, you know, something that has to do with the water. That's kind of our normal Saturday thing. And then we've got this project, which we bought a school bus um, a few months ago. And so we're redoing the school bus um, to actually be another place for us to um, live and adventure. So. We are planning on in over the next six months um, fixing up the house, which is right there, and um, renting it, moving so that kind of ends up being a passive income. We're going to be um, working our way into a more nomadic life, which means that we'll be spending time on the boat. We're going to actually move on the boat, so we'll be liveaboards there. We'll use this for some extended um, travel and staying wherever we can. We want to do uh, the loop around the U.S., around the border in this bus once we're done. Um, and then we're working on the boat to hopefully get it in shape where we can at least make it to the Bahamas, if not make it through um, the entire America's Great Loop trip, which is about 6,000 miles in the boat. So. So the boat and the bus are primary. Um, we also have gotten into just some gaming and you know what I mean, kind of connecting with our community now and again um, in ways doing some different types of streams. So yeah, welcome to it. I appreciate the fact you're here. It is a school bus, yes. Um, the width, and it may look, uh, we may have like the wide angle might be on, on the camera. What's the width of the bus, Tom? Um, it's like it's like nine feet. Nine feet. Yeah. I can tell you in a second. The the um, the whole square footage of the bus is 160. It's about 26 feet long. So it's not the really really long bus, but it's not a short bus either. So it's it's the mid mid range. Yeah, it looks bigger. Yep, and we do we do some cooking stuff depending on where we are. Um, yep, Tom made an amazing vegetable soup and did some meal prep yesterday and then did a Lego stream. So we kind of do whatever we're feeling. Um, we do have full-time jobs Monday through Friday right now. So we usually stream on Saturday, Sunday, and now kind of like Friday night if we're just kind of hanging out. So, yep. yeah, we may add in, we've been trying to figure out how to add in another time during the week to stream. Um, and we may look at, at different options for that. Um, yeah, and oh, and Sunday morning we do yoga. So Sunday morning at 9 a.m., um, pretty consistently, we're doing uh, two 30-minute sessions of yoga. Right. And, um, and then I think we're going to start adding in like a bonus, like meditation type of just quick meditation at the end. Yeah. So I'm going to pull out the router real quick. Okay. Laura, mm -hmm. I'm going to pull out the router. Okay. 
And yeah. So yeah, welcome in. Thanks for asking, Biden. I let you. There you go. Oh, you have the mic. There you go. Hello, hello chat. Here's Lala. <laughs> yeah, so thanks thanks for coming on in, Zidi, and I appreciate you being here. I have a good friend who quit her job, moved out of her house, and she's been kind of camping across America for a few months. She had some hiccups at first, but she's doing amazing. That's so cool. I love stories where people just kind of, you know kind of just follow their heart and do do what they think they're gonna and so Tom and I are we're in our mid 50s actually probably more on the other side Tom just turned 56 I am the same and um so yeah we're gonna do early retirement I think and just make sure that we can do some of that stuff um just like your friend you know do some of that stuff before we aren't able to do it so let me go. So creep. Let's see. Where did you? And I saw your message, Jar, and I just need to figure out how to get. I don't get any notifications with stuff in. In um, Discord. Let me go to in general hold on oh there it is <gasps> wow that looks very cool that is beautiful thanks creep that is gorgeous hold on let me save those um save image let me, let me find a folder. Thank you for that. Those are beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Hold on, let's see. There's the folder. Awesome. Well, that's lovely. Thank you, Creep. That is so special. Huh? Yeah. Yep. Let me get my shoes before I get crunched again. Okay. All right, chat. You ready? Let's go outside. We're going to do some routing. So here you go for anybody. We've got, uh, we did put some cover here. We've got an air conditioner that's trying to keep everything here. It's, you know, it's been in the 90s and even in the hundreds, so we've been trying to, when we work out here, trying to keep stuff cool. And um, we did finish the floor a few weeks ago. Um, and then what we're doing right now is the framing for the walls. So that's what we're gonna do. And we need to route out. There's rivets under here, and so, as you can see, so we need to route out so we can just put the wood right on top of the rivets. Oh, thanks for the follow, Zydian. I appreciate that, love. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Okay. So, where, I was going to say where, I want to keep them in the shade. Because I don't want to, I don't want the sun to be on them. Yeah. Yeah, that's shade. Where are you going to be? Oh. It's gonna be loud, guys. Okay. It's gonna be loud. My friend wants to pass through where I live. Oh, Northern Illinois. Yeah, Tom's from Wisconsin. And so we go through Illinois a lot when we travel up to see his family. But I'm not sure if I'm cut out for it. I haven't been good at roughing it for a long time. Yeah, you know, same. I think we're we're up for a level of roughing it. Oh yeah. Um, 
and for shorter periods of time for like the real roughing it. That's why we're doing a bust and you know, what we're putting in is not necessarily roughing it. All right, we're gonna rope some wood. Okay, let's do it. Ready for the noise. <laughs> here, I'll put you guys over here so you're not hearing all that. There we go, at least a little farther away. Back that way a little bit. Huh? Move it which way? Do you want to move it back that yeah, way or yeah. no? Yeah, still let me go on that side. Ready? Okay. That's pretty sturdy. Sturdy enough. You watch your fingers. That that that's the cover right there. Yeah, I know, but it's not going to come through it. No.
That was punny. That was very punny, Zydian. I'm pining for a new one. Does anybody know any good tree puns? I'm pining for a new one, but they're not that poplar. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't ban me. <laughs> uh, Tom likes puns. <laughs> oh, a corny joke. Damn. You guys are good. Huh? accessorizing her black shirt with some sawdust. 100% eco-friendly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the router table. I could smell sawdust watching this from home. Oh, Creep said that's man's glitter she's accessorizing with. That is awesome. I think that she would call man glitter something else. I said, uh, uh-huh. Maybe it's just harder. Oh my god. Does anybody know any good tree puns? It is. It's funny. A corny joke will do that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're going to fit right in, Zydian. <laughs> the Tide T was talking about dropping her kids off at the pool. Oh my god. I love puns. I never branched out into tree puns. Oh my lord. At the tide, that was all CCP. <laughs> I miss Jim. Heard yeah. you explaining so, it. So, to answer your question, yes, I have. Uh, I have two new routers in the uh, basement, but they don't fit this table, this router table. So, I tried to change it last weekend or two weekends ago. We're gonna um, we're gonna pick this up and I'm gonna put it away just in case it rains. This is a Craftsman. It has a brand new, um, brand new bit on it. A little shit. Oh, thank you, Creep. Oh, look. Okay. So, do you think you can lift this? Oh, oh my God! Somebody stop. <laughs> so do you think? Oh. That... <laughs> I want to spruce things up. Huh? I want to spruce things up. So do you think that? You Everywhere can... else, people are like, "I'm sick of more puns." <laughs> so I actually have a. I actually have a. I actually have a. What is that? That's that's a thing for this. That's the actual wheels oh, for that. I just need to put it together. Yeah, and then it's so, got um. Yeah, and then it has locking wheels. Has stops. It has locking yeah. wheels and everything. Yeah. So you okay. Grab that side. One. Ooh, one. Yeah. Two. Three. Hold on. It's it's so high. Yeah, here. I mean, I need, and I don't have here. like. I, I just need some like gloves or something so I can like push this way, but it's it's like sharp on the edges. All right, I'm just too short. Like I gotta lift up so high. Four. Ready? Yep. Oh, nice job. oh shit. It. Good job. Well, it's not centered. I got it, honey. No. It's like too short. I almost need to like get underneath it first. Be right back. Duty calls. Okay. <laughs> Woo! All right. Got sawdust everywhere. Chat 
everywhere. Look at that great pile of sawdust. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's take you back inside. Oh, here's, here's just a view of the bus for anybody who hasn't seen the outside yet. So, and we'll be painting it uh, white. So and it's a um, 2014 Bluebird school bus. It was um, hauling children in elementary school up until last year. Um, it's propane, and you can see that's what I think the green Bluebird indicates is it's like a green bus, which means it's just run on propane. Um, and so we are going to leave, I love the Bluebird logo on the top. So we're going to leave that. We're going to paint the rest white. And then we'll have um, where there's the black stripes, we'll have green, um, that same green that matches that aqua will be, will be there. And then we're going to do handprints. Um, start with our family members, do handprints of our family members. And, uh, and fingerprints so that they can identify us. Yeah, and our, and our fingerprints. No, we'll do handprints. And then, you know, as we travel and stuff like that, we'll, we'll be able to add more prints and people and messages and, you know, I love the idea of like printing things and, you know, having people write, write a cool message for us as we're traveling. So, okay. anyway. We gotta move all the stuff from that side. From this side to the other? Yep. Oh. Mommy had a pun, but I hope I grow on you guys. <laughs> you have Zydian, actually. <laughs> it's making me feel right at home, believe it or not. My my family is very funny. I am not. I'm the eye roller, but I do appreciate the wit that it takes to be funny. Welcome in. You're in a good place for all that, for sure. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna...
starting the new wall. The party is going into overdrive now. Oh, thanks for that shout out for Chef John Reed. He has started streaming again. Last week he streamed and um, he's doing great. And his setup is really nice, how he's doing it. He's in um, a small apartment, but he's using like the dining room area as an extension of his kitchen. And it really looks nice with the stream. I was really impressed with the way it looks. So definitely give Chef John Reed a follow. He's got a great community as well. Oh yeah, they came up the force to see him back. It was amazing Yeah. He didn't know if he would ever go back to streaming. Yep. And it was just, it was a great day. He started his first day on Tuesday. And uh, yeah, it's just, he's a good egg. And he lived with us. He came from Santa Fe. He's a friend of my son's and lived with us for uh, almost a year and a half. So I think he got I think I think he got burnt out because he did it for so long and all through COVID and that's yeah. how he made a living and Yep. And now he's But I, I think it's good because he's cooking um he's doing a um he's got a cottage. What do you call it? Like a cottage kitchen business? Cottage bakery, yeah. So it's uh he cooks out of his home. So he was cooking out of our kitchen and now that he's got his own place he's cooking out of his. But he spends all day in the kitchen by himself. And I do think that like having chat in the community and streaming is like good, you know, to be around people during the day as much as you can. We're at hundred percent. We can charge all the way. If yeah. he were here we'd cause a trouble. <laughs> but no. Zidian, he would totally be matching your puns. He's that guy. So if you want to do punny, go to Chef John Reed's stream and seriously, he will rival anybody. He is very witty when it comes to puns. I'm trying so hard not to make a pun. Seriously, yeah, Whitney. I bet your family loves you. <laughs> you know, I find it you know, I joke with eye rolling and stuff, but I really, the reason I do is because I can't do it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not funny. I don't, I can't remember jokes. I'm not that witty. So I appreciate when people just have that wit about them. Oh, sorry. Let me get you guys off of here. I'm going to be, you don't need to be airing the... Here we go. Better? Oh, here we go. There's a, there is mushroom for improvement. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh. So yeah. It's going to start getting warm in here. The sun's coming in. And the air isn't necessarily making it back to this way. So one of the things that Tom did, he, uh, oh, blood. Must have caught a nick somewhere. Um, Tom bought an air conditioner. So you can see, I think you can see. I don't know, I don't have monitor what stream looks like here. Oh, you can kind of see, there's one here. Uh, and there's another one there, an emergency exit, and there's actually a larger one there. So we're going to put um, a, an air conditioner unit on the top, and there is a, um, there's like a fitting that goes on the outside, and it's a, a particular company that does stuff just for school bus renovations, and they're in North Carolina. And so Tom is thinking about going and picking it up. They want $250 to ship it. So, because it's like, you know, some sort of steel fitting that goes on the top and you plunk an air conditioner on top of it uh, to fasten it to the roof. Um, but we did get the air conditioner and now we just need to fit it in. And um, it'll be much stronger than, than just the little portable unit we have right now. So looking forward to getting that in. It'll be just in time for the weather to turn cooler probably. Now, if we do it right in, and I can get that before Denny gets here, we might be able to install it Saturday afternoon. Yeah. If he's here to help. So you really, you really want to drive to North Carolina? Yeah. Yeah. And I want to go with you, but I can't. Well, I literally can't it's leave. It's literally going to be a driving back. It's, it's, look, you, 
We'll stream. We'll have them take a vote. I want you to go too, but we have to wait two weeks. Yeah. I don't want to wait two weeks. No, I know. And and if, and if I can't, you if we can't. And if Denny can yeah, help. Yeah. Dude, if we can't, if we for some reason we can't take the boat out, let's get the bus done. Yeah. So. All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So Tom might be taking a road trip to go get the the thing that will allow us to install the air conditioner, which would be Thursday, great. And I, may, there may, I may actually stream on my channel for the first time ever. There you go. All right, here we go. Well, I could actually start... Huh? Yeah, is there a way that I can just use yours? Yeah, there is. Just stream yours? Actually, then... I'd just give you my my um information and you just bring up your twitch app except no, I, you no i'm gonna use your your streaming setup i'll use your phone yeah oh yeah, yeah you can do that with so irl pro it's already that. all in there let's just do that yeah yeah but you just can't you need to be careful driving and streaming and monitoring oh, chat right. yeah they won't get monitored like you just gotta you <laughs> yeah, yeah no hell no they won't get monitored okay all right that. this isn't this isn't one that's got a Route routed. It is. Oh. Huh. Why is it not fitting in there? Hold on. Because you got those things in the way on the windows. Oh, that's right, yeah. I got it mark that's why I mark it. Yep, road trip. Road trip without me. Tide. Like, I'm going to have FOMO so bad. It's the first week of school, and I work for the school district, so there's literally no way I can go. We're disapproving all time off for my people, so there's no way I can take time off. Okay, you good? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to go route this. I'll be back. You guys want to watch the route? No, or? I can monitor you, actually. I can. Yeah, you can You can handle chat, can't you? Well, yeah, and you know what you could do? You could start chat, put them on the chat mat, you know, or something yeah. where you can just see them, get them all settled. Yeah. Um, then you could put me on speakerphone. Yeah. Yeah. So I could, like, go along for the ride on speakerphone. Yeah. Yeah, we could try that and see what happens. And then you could drive, and I could, like, monitor chat and do what I normally do, which is just read chat to you. Yep. Yeah. Then you wouldn't have to look at anything. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, I'm going to come up back. I'm going to need your help out here, so we need to bring okay. probably. All right. What are we doing? Where's we're my routing, shoes? We're routing out those channels. Right here, Laura. Oh. Routing some more? Yeah. Okay. But with the hand router. Do you want to learn how to, do you want to use a router? No. I would rather not screw up the little bit of wood we have. If I was learning that'd be one thing, but we got we got shit to do, man. So I won't make you teach me shit. Hey, can somebody play can somebody can somebody play a, a sound? I don't think the sounds are working. Oh. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Did the Lala say that Tom had little wood? Yeah, we're we we're running out of wood. <laughs> it's Tom's fault. Yeah. There you go. It is. Okay. Where where are you gonna be? Um, right here. Okay. Put him on this side of the bus here. No, it's a pleasure to have you inside, Ian. So it's chat, a pleasure. What I'm doing right here, guys, is I am. Okay, they can see you. What are right, you doing? Right here on the end, right here. I have a channel in the center for the rivets. I need to route out. I need to take this off. Take this off. This ridge. 
So it fits over the window, uh, the windows. Um, window guards. No, I love people that engage in chat, you know? Why does he have the same pants as me? You guys are crazy like-minded though. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Ours is... Old moldy jokes. Dude, I'm gonna get a pair of jean shorts. I am gonna get a pair of jean shorts once I get my... Anyways, I'm gonna chill. No, I'm just catching up. Ours is, phew. We're having a good time here. Even we're getting pretty naughty, but nothing too dark or nasty. Yeah, road trip. I want to show my friends your channel, but she's, I don't know if she has connection. If she what? Yeah, well, bring her on in, Zidian. More the merrier. Has, if she has connection. If she has connection. I don't know. Mean? Probably if she's got a connection to the internet, maybe. You guys are crazy like-minded. <laughs> That's great. I take that as a compliment. Can you plug me in? All right, here we go, guys. I mean, we can mob if Lala is here. We have someone to talk to at least. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> at least somebody. We tried to here. throw those nasty shoes away. I know, didn't work. <laughs> She's like, I'm not. She ate a rattlesnake? She cooked it first. Zydian's friend. Oh. Who's who's out there roughing it? Awesome. She's roughing it and ate a rattlesnake. Chewy? Very. I don't think she finished it. But she didn't want to undercook it. No, I don't blame her. She's streaming? Is she a streamer? She's on the road, but I wonder now nah, she is just on the road. She's oh, okay. she's like an adventuring and roughing it. Well hell. But I wonder if <laughs> T said, she's on the road, but I wonder if a slow cooker would help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking out of my ass, though. I don't know cooking and roughing it. think she has one but she's doing awesome i'm not sure i want to join her for three weeks i don't blame you zydie <laughs> i don't blame you i don't blame you at all wow okay i do i want to meet i want to meet i don't know but like eating rattlesnake is a whole nother level for me i mean i've i've done survival school so i know what all that's like but i would keep your fingers all the way there's just some things i would choose not to do to again jump a little bit yeah Think salad thoughts.
Is this the router stance? Looks like chair pose. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, the yoga, the yoga guy has definitely come in handy the past couple months. I do downward dog in the engine room of the, of the boat. Yeah, you do. To get in and out. Um, chair pose right there was, yeah, I was getting my, getting my pose on. I went foraging at the Walmarts yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Because Zydian said she's foraging for her own mushrooms and doing it all. And yeah, that's when T said, I went foraging at the Walmarts yesterday. I went foraging at I'm going to tell her about this channel. I don't know if she'll catch it when you're live. That would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Well, tell her when she comes in just to say, hey, Zydian sent me. We'll know who she's in. I well, heard who that she you is. guys are city foragers. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a, a, rat, a rattlesnake. Collab. So what are we, are we doing more of those? No. Okay, we're going in? Okay. We're going to be coming in and out. Okay, so that's fine. No, I just, we'll come in. Okay, put you in front of... front of the air again. So anybody doesn't know what we just did is... Yeah, just show them the... So what we did was we, we routed the groove in the back of the board, right here at the back of the board, so that it would clear all of these rivets here. And then the route that we just made is we notched up the, on the back side of the board too to accommodate for these. So that when we put them up. Yeah, so you can see it just it fits nice and smooth. Fits right in there. So this is what we're doing some things that are keeping us from disassembling the bus. Alright. So one of the one of the premises that we went with was structurally it's a school bus. It's meant to haul children. Structurally it's pretty sound. Yeah, and guys, we've never done this before, so. So we decided to keep as much of the um, as much of the original, you know, structural stuff as we can, especially around windows and things. It already rattles enough. So, but. Yeah, I need to get my drills and stuff. Okay. okay, here we go. You got that? Yeah. Kind of hold it where you think you want it. It may back, you know, may move. You want it? You want it even with the top, right? I'm not gonna do it last time. I'm not gonna try to do all these weird push it up. All that stuff. Yeah. No, I got you. Just and that's called the fuck yeah. <laughs> Do you still need me to hold it? Or no? Oh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Just pull it up a little bit. Right there. Perfect. I was going to say, why don't you just leave it, right? <laughs> the 
some mushrooms I found. Damn, I had to wake up Streamlabs. There you go. Yeah, I know. Don't let her feed you. Even my mom, even my pops, a mycologist, and I won't need anything he picks. Oh my god. Yeah, it's roomy. Yeah, while it doesn't have stuff in it, it's roomy. Once we get like the queen bed in the back, it might not feel so roomy anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for now, it's it's it does look. It does look like there's some room in here. <laughs> Save <it. laughs> huh? Blob and blitz. I just it's cracking me up. Okay. Trust me on this one, okay. <laughs> it's not. Uh, I feel like my whole childhood sounded like this, helping dads. Oh, gosh. Okay. Whew! Okay. So what I did this time is most of these have been in the bus and they've all been warped and I put the warp put the warp against the wall so they'll be straight straighter oh iced tea no bloody mary <laughs> Here we go, wow. but i did tell tom the other thing that goes good in a mason jar iced tea iced teas and bloody marys Moonshine too. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the moonshine thing. <laughs> Little too strong for me. Okay, we got three routes to do. Vodka's about as strong as I go. <laughs> okay. Huh? We got three routes to go. Okay. All right, we're gonna route some more. Chat, let's go outside, shall we? So we gotta open the door. Ugh, I opened it too much. Cold air in. Maybe, maybe right here, just kind of, just right. hold it down. Right, guys, it's going to be loud.
Huh. Left a little ridge in the middle there. Does that matter? No. But I'll get it. There you go. There you go. Ready? Yep. Rope Hold on. Yeah, I'm trying to get. Look at that. <laughs> All right. No. Mm -mm. Here? Either there or there. Where? The two, either here or at the end. are pretty good. Nice. Yeah, it doesn't need to be perfect. No, because you can't see it. Yeah. Just needs to open up space for the thing. I don't know if other people would even do this. You might just put them on right over the rivets, you know? Well, because you won't I see think it. it'll, but you know what? I think the pressure will be more even across it. I do think it'll help the rattle. Yeah. I do. Yesterday. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that. Well, it was raining in the morning, though. Yeah, but we would have had Grand Sing. We would have had. Okay. If it would have been something I wanted to do, we would have done it, you know? Yeah. I had fun. I had fun doing the. Uh... Well. Okay, ready? Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's going in the back, we're going in the front. All right, chat. I'd like to put you by the air conditioner so that you get some air air on yourselves. Yeah, you got enough to finish today, right? Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys these screws too. This is technology. So does Tom have a checklist or just winging it? Huh? A checklist? They're asking, or Tide's asking, if you have a checklist. Oh, like a, or like, just winging it. Like a to-do? Like in order? Yeah, like a to-do. Oh, yeah, I have a very detailed checklist. Yes, I do. Very detailed. 
No. I, I kind of do. He oh. does. There, there is. There's the the big brain Discord and lots of notes. <laughs> I'll get it in Discord and I'll kind of put the flow down. But yeah, he does go into Discord and, you know, put stuff like what he's doing and kind of documents things, which allows him to. And really, we just know that, like, right now we're focused on the walls. And so. But yeah, there's some things that need to be done in a certain order. Yeah. But I've, I've rewired and replumbed a boat before, so. Like that, you know? Huh? It's fine. It drops. Why? It didn't drop. Wow. So I can hold it closer to where you're drilling, maybe. Maybe that would keep it from dropping. Because I'm at the end, so. You're good. I should crash. I've overstayed. I'm going out on a limb here. <laughs> Zydian. No, you haven't. I think you're funny. Nice one. Uh, Spruce Willis, Keanu Leaves, <laughs> Donald Trunk, Morgan Treeman. Oh my God. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Get out of your way. Yeah, we actually do have a tree command. Tremendous puns inside. I have to crash. <laughs> uh, no, it was really fun. It was really fun meeting you and uh, and having you hang out. So, yep. Now sleep well, Zydian. I hope we see you again. Huh? Zydian's leaving. Hi, Zion. He says thanks for putting up with me, uh, <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's. Quirky is good in this channel. Yeah, sleep well. Hey, Vanessa, where from? What country? I tried bringing my friend. She had to uninstall the Twitch app. I didn't know. What country? I wanted you guys to meet. Yeah, where where generally are you? Are you in the world, Zydian? I'll send you an olive cream. <laughs> See, I missed some chat. Hold on. So do my dirty mojitos. Some random lady gave my husband and I a jar of apple pie moonshine a couple years ago while we were walking out of a store. Yeah, that's a popular one. Tea. Come over to Gatlinburg and do a tasting of Old Smoky or Sugarlands. Yeah, Old Smoky is a popular one. We have the big old smoky. Um... Okay, I'm gonna go cut this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Probably, probably not worth the time to bring him up for this next one. Okay. Yeah. No. If you've got it, that's fine. We'll sit here. I'll let him cool down.
Are there gin and tonics out there? If so, this is progress. <laughs> yeah, it's 90 out. Wow. Yeah, it feels in a 60% humidity. Woo! Yeah, it's hot out today. I firmly believe <laughs> this is a quality puns. Oh my God. Hello from Mount Greenwood, Chicago. Oh, okay. That's right. You did say you were Northern Illinois. Yep. Chicago, Tom. He said he was going to bed. Well, no, he said he had to crash. Oh. I mean, who I knows assume. what his schedule is? Sorry. He needs to crash. Yeah, just assume that. You never know what people, what time people have to get up. Do you want me to hold something? Yeah, I need to, um, I need to screw it away there. Huh? Is there a screw? Where? The screw in the gray thing right there. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. Just pull it out? Or pull, or, or make it go in? Does it matter? I think it's in the way. Probably should take it out and just me to take it off. Sorry. Okay. We'll never get to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I was like, why doesn't that fit? It does. It does fit. Now just make sure you, because you're a little more on that side than you are this side. Like, you're, yeah. you're wider on this side, so it's really it's like here, there but just make sure you're on the outside of that other one. I think it was your angle looking at it. Since you're not busy at the moment, you asked what I used to create the logos with. I used, oh, Canva Pro. Huh, okay. That's cool. Nah, it it's like really good quality stuff, so. Believe me, I do my best to sleep. <laughs> he seems like a bike. Why is he acting like a bike? He's too tired of me. Oh my gosh. I actually have a great friend named Mike the Bike. Well one of his IDs. <laughs> Mike's. Really? We have a history on this channel with Mike's. Woo, guys. You're nice and cool over there. Creep factor aside. Get tired. I always get up earlier than Tom. And I wish I didn't. So I always run out of steam faster than he does. But this is good we can finish this will be very good if we can finish the walls then we can um, get the electrical run and like we're just getting closer to doing what we need to do I know T right like I don't know what's gotten into me lately <laughs> Hi, 
we go. Okay, let me move him to the other side here. Look, he just puts you off to the side, chat, faces you to the floor, doesn't care. I think it's just some steady pressure, you know, get through it. Why are you doing that? Okay. Do you want me to hold that together while you drill again? I can't do it in the same spot anyway. Yeah, you were kind of at an angle down that way yeah, that it time. Just, it, but it catches the divots in the, and pulls it down. Yeah. You mean the mics. We were talking about the mics. I get it. Yeah. Like, creep factor aside, like, he's different. Yeah. I'm not a character. I'm a DJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blob is 2100. What? Wow. I can drill again. So far we have been drilled, stripped, pounded, screwed, and mounted. No wonder we are tired. <laughs> Sadly, no T. Blob is a different species. And T said, and achy. Are you achy, Tom? Too 
See, that man's getting in shape, man. Is Tom still wearing his Crocs? Yeah, he does. Like out at the boat and stuff, he wears his Crocs. He likes them, don't you? Yeah, but I'm not gonna, I probably won't wear them on the boat. I'm afraid I'm gonna, they're too big. They're too big? Well, you, you put the back down. Yeah, I don't care. I'll, I'll wear them around here, but I probably won't wear them on the boat because I'm afraid I'm gonna trip on something. Oh. But they just seem unsafe. But Mine are comfy. I don't mind them. By you pop said Crocs are a way of life. I agree. But better achy than yesterday. <laughs> uh T. You should try it. You should try them on. All right. Put the booty down, Tom. Huh? They said put the booty down. I don't know. Maybe you were like too high up on the thing. They were looking at you from the side, so. Okay. You put your booty down, you're gonna you'll go straight. Yeah. Don't want to trip and fall overboard. Yeah. Seriously though, creep, they are comfortable. If you try them on, they have like the little knobbies like here that just like massage your feet all through. It's just, they're really nice. They're very comfy. And when they get wet, we go. Good job, Tom. How you feeling? Yeah. But they like massage the bottom of your feet when you walk. And like, if you want to go walking in the rain, you just walk in the rain. Mm hmm? What? Oh. Dr. Dave called. Wish me happy birthday. I product of New Zealand. This wood is a product of New Zealand. Why do we have to go all the way to New Zealand to get pine? I wonder. Need a good pair of white rubber boots. It was something else. I already forgot what. Oh, yeah. Back of the shoes, the strap in. Yep. Look up Echo Crocs. They look cooler. The straps are... The straps are four-wheel drive, yeah. What do they call that? Sport mode. <laughs> you could put them in sport mode. Ursolome and Brimi has a special croc that looks like a foot. <laughs> They're blinding you, Shayna. <laughs> wear sandals in my boat. Yeah, I mean, and I would wear flip-flops, but my, my feet move around a lot in flip-flops on the boat, so... I do have some Tevas, but honestly, these are more comfortable. I feel like these feel more like barefoot, you know, than any of the other shoes I wear. It feels like I'm barefoot because they don't like scrunch in, scrunch in my foot. They are big and they're clunky, but they feel good. I'm not saying they look nice because I don't like the way they look. I like the way they feel though.
No, I'd rather go barefoot. It's not barefoot, but it feels more like barefoot because your foot's kind of just open in these things. Like, it's not... Oh, while you're taking a break, can you get Tom to check out Discord? Yes. Actually, I can do it and then show him. It's a good idea. Um, Creep uploaded a couple more. Oh, I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, let me show you. They're good. They're nice. <sighs> Oof, dusty. Why is that doing that, I wonder? battery is low? Shit, Tom. Like, the battery on this thing just, it doesn't, it doesn't even, it doesn't even go for an hour on make its sure own. That, make sure that switch is on. Huh? Make sure that power strip's on. Yeah, it's on. It says it is. But, I don't know. I think it's the battery in here. Is this under warranty for battery? Yeah, it's always out of batteries. Yeah. Yeah, they only last like eight times. <laughs> Just wait, Lala hasn't seen the orange ones. Oh. If I'm fishing with poles, I wear sandals. But if I'm running traps and lines, I wear shrimp boots. I bet. Yeah, I would imagine traps and lines, you would need something more than sandals. It probably wouldn't be safe at all. Oh, wow. Look at, oh, that one's cool. That one's got Lala on it. Oh, I love those. Look. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I like that. Isn't so that much. great? That is awesome. Look at the Carpe wow. Diem over the, the compass rose. That's pretty, yeah, isn't it? I love those. And look at that. Heck yeah. Yeah. That is cool. I love that, um, that one, the, the bottom one, the, the compass. Yeah. That's awesome. Those are really, pretty, really pretty. Those are really pretty. Love it. Yeah. Thank you, the, Creep. The blue is beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's my favorite color. That is my absolute favorite color. That is gorgeous. All the oceans in one. Thanks, Creep. Yeah, thank you for doing that. Oh my God, it's so cool to see it. <laughs> I need to put this. Yeah, I'm gonna get a Carpe Diem shirt made and then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna get, get that made into a patch. That would be cool as a sticker too. Yep. Like these would be cool as a sticker. Yep. Really cool. Stickers would be awesome. And then we could give people stickers. We need stickers. Trade with the, stickers, we need stickers with people. With, uh, with um, the, um, with a QR code. Yeah. At some point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those are awesome creep. I'm all, you know what, I need to. It is so sweet. But once we get some more swag made, we'll send you some swag. Yeah. Good luck too. That is so cool. Awesomeness. You need to find a way to paint that design on rocks. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to get back to the coast. I want shrimp and prawn. Shrimp boots are like white rubber boots. Everyone in Louisiana has at least one pair. Oh, I'm going on a houseboat in a few weeks. Are water shoes good? Yeah. Yeah, if you're yeah. on a houseboat, you'd yeah. be like barefoot. Yeah. But if you're going, if you're going in, like you're gonna jump in the water or whatever. She was doing her fam big family trip, right? You're supposed, yeah, you the water shoes are fine, it? but. Are you spinning overnight? On a boat, you should basically be barefoot. It's the safest way to be on a boat. 
once you're on a shrimp boat, then you need to... We usually, I, I usually recommend when people get on the boat, I tell them where to put their shoes. Okay. That way they don't All right, let's do, trip over let's shit. Do that. Let's do that. He's done. So our road trip is to pick up a metal thing with Tom. Yes, and I can't go. But yeah, so it's in North Carolina, so it'll be basically four and a half hours, you said, Tom? Hendersonville. We need to see how far it is. Hendersonville, North Carolina is where he's going from Nashville, so. Four days on a houseboat in a couple of weeks. I hate barefoot. Yeah, then wear water shoes. Yeah, or, then wear water wear shoes. shoes. Or wear, in a houseboat, wear, wear sandals. Yeah. You're fine. Mm. Flip-flops aren't good on a boat, generally. Water, yeah. Water huh? Bring in some yeah. Um, he's looking at maybe Thursday. Like this Thursday. And it's the first week of school, so I can't um I can't leave. Three hundred and nine miles says four hours forty minutes. So it's it's more like five hours. Uh, 309 miles. Yeah, I figured 300 miles. I figured about 700 miles on the trip. <laughs> I'm going to, um, I plan on leaving at about 4.30 in the morning. We'll go live at 5. Yep. There you go. And I can be, um, I can be on, he can have me on speakerphone for some of the trip. So we can chat. So can you be on the phone and play music? I guess you could just play radio stations that you find. What? Yeah, let me move. Let me move these guys. Come on, guys. <laughs> you guys look good today. Here, come back over here by the, by the air. All right, there you go. What? Where did the shim come from? Out of the. I don't need any more. Oh. What am I doing? Holding that up in the right position. You're gonna bring it up a little bit until it clicks into place. Yep. All right. I've got to cut this one off. And I'm pushing it up against this yep. rivet. Yep. That's perfect. Okay. And what I want you to do is I want you to I'm going to have you push it back toward me just a little bit, not much. Okay, ready? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Shana said, we got you, Tom. Right, you know, T said, damn them for not being open on the weekend. Yeah. Shana said, I'll be up. Tide said, oh, nice. That would be awesome on Lala's speakerphone, said T. Yeah, we can work it. We can work it out. Blob's watching personal flat chick, I'm doc. I'll take the um I looked great earlier. Didn't even get a pick of us. I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah, but did you have fun? That's all that counts, T. I mean, Shayna, did you have fun? Got a chance to go out to brunch with Cliff and hang out. Did you guys have fun? All right, here we go. I love selfies, though, I will say. Just snap a selfie. Blob teleport to bridge a flagship. So this flagship blob, what, what are we doing here? What is this flagship doing? I have questions. Yes.
right here. Thinking, think of it as stocking your pantry and trying out recipes. What's that, T? Lost the plot, love. Smurf shoes in the loose. Woo! All right. Meeting up with rest of the defense fleet. Is Blob trying to take over the world or just being careful? I don't know. Like, that's my... I have questions tied. I feel like Blob's preparing a lot of stuff and we're just here putting a bus together. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice. When it goes straight in, you don't have a problem. It's when it's at an angle, you've got a problem. Well, and this, and this is smooth uh, metal versus corrugated. Yeah. Well, the places where you had a problem were where you were at a different angle. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Smurf shoes on the loose. <laughs> Nice job. Did you say the wood was from New Zealand? Uh, yeah, I think so. I know. I that's why I don't. It's just pine. That's why I don't understand why. Maybe. Nice job. All right, I'm trying to get the rest of these in, and that's where we're going to stop the bus. Then we have to go finish Lego Bill and eat some soup. Okay. So I hope you guys are good for another two, three hours. <laughs> And my, my, you don't have to stay. I mean, don't ever think that you have to stay. I shouldn't call you mods. Friends. Well, they are mods. But yes, he is saying he loves to have you all hang out. He just doesn't want anybody to feel obligated to hang out. There's problems, I'll just do what T would do. Uh -huh. Then ask questions. <laughs> oh, nice. Cliff requested fresh fruit this week after I bought it for sis. Very good. Awesome. Yeah, what kind, Shayna? Like, what kind of stuff do you guys like? Because even if you just, you know, get a couple things that you know are go-tos that everybody loves and... I do want to show you guys, next time I buy it, I, want, I do want to show you guys my um, my pineapple trick. Yeah. A lot of people don't buy pineapple because they think it's hard to cut up. 
I got a trick for you guys. Tom, Tom has a great life hack for pineapple cutting. I got a mixed bowl. I have no idea. Yeah, and it's so much cheaper. I bought more nuts for work snacks and won't candy the pecans. Oh, good, Shayna. That's really great. Seriously, fruit and nuts. Great work snacks. Oh, orange pencils outside. No Pepsi. But like, um, but like, you know that those mixed, those bowls that they do are so expensive. It's, where are you going? I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get my pencil, but on my way, I'm going to get my refill. Oh, do you want me to go get it? I need one anyway. Sure, sure I need a cup of coffee. You need a cup of coffee. And a, and a ice and a Pepsi. And another Pepsi? Yep. Okay. Do you have another Pepsi? Uh, probably not. So a thing of, uh, thing of water. Um, sparkling? Sparkling. Which kind? The green. Green? Please. Okay. Yep. And the pencil. And the pencil? I'll get the pencil because you're getting the drinks. Okay, chat. We'll be back. Un momento. Here, I'll take you. Tom's got, well, they can't hear you unless you actually take the camera. I'm coming right in. Oh, okay. <laughs> on a warm summer's eve, on a train bound for nowhere, met up with a gambler. We were both too tired to sleep as we took turns to stare. Out the window at the darkness, the boredom overtook us, and he began to speak. Name that tune. You got it, Loki. Hands in the wild. He knows that song for sure. You got it, Loki. Hands in the wild. I know it wasn't a challenge, Shana. I just, it's one of my all time favorite songs. A guy named Don Schultz wrote that. Um, Don Schultz wrote that song for Kenny Rogers and uh, I didn't know any nursery, I didn't know any kid children's songs when the kids were young so I sang Otis Redding, Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, Kenny Rogers, The Gambler, and Amazing Grace were the three songs that they got. So... Since we can't have music on the stream, uh, maybe I'll start singing to you guys because, you know, I'm such a wonderful singer. Not. There we go. I'm not a wonderful singer, but... Anyway. Hands, do you remember... Remember that? Whew. You know what guys, we're gonna get this. I am motivated to get this done so that we can actually, maybe everything will happen around the same time. Maybe we'll get everything lined up the way it's supposed to and I don't know if we're going to have it done done in time for TwitchCon but man that would be something I have two, four, six I have eight screws left so eight screws left let me go ahead and order those right now. The Tide, what did I like better? I like, I like, <laughs> I like the, the, doing the wood, doing the wood better. 
when hands when hands in the wild was here in the flooring we did i mean we got most of it done we had about half done but when he came we've done floors together we've done floors together so um hands are full no, yep it wouldn't open oh did i lock it i think you like, sometimes it um shut it all the way and then you can't get it open from outside thank you baby why is that a thing so if you push it too far if yeah, it locks oh yeah it actually locks push it past but it, right there's a yeah okay. i only have eight i only have eight screws left so let me um let me order the screws real quick and then we're going to finish what we can. Hi, Loki. We'll finish what we can. How are you doing, Loki? Hey, Anne Marie. Hey, Anne Marie in the house. Loki's back. Anne Marie. Shayna, T. Look at this house. It's such a mess, guys. Yeah. Such a mess. All right. Let me order these. Uh, let me order these real quick. What did you like doing better, Tom? Screwing wood or laying floor? I said I like I like screwing the wood better. Oh. Better than the floor, huh? Yeah. I thought you liked. I do, but you it was. With the hammer and stuff. I like it when I like it when um when Hans is here to help. like regular apples bananas oh and don't forget you can buy like frozen fruit to actually um to like put in oatmeal or even just have a snack like some of the berries and things when they're the frozen berries when they thaw they're just like really tasty so think about frozen stuff too because it's not as expensive as fresh and it lasts longer and it's still very nutritious keeps its nutritional value too. So. Oh, Loki said love the hat. What was it? Not a challenge. Hmm? I'm just backing up in chat. You were singing The Gambler and Shane said not a challenge, Tom. Oh, I asked who, I stopped before I, I, I stopped before I did the chorus and I asked oh. if they knew and everybody said not a challenge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. It is harder on the body. Okay, I ordered. Yeah, smoothies are so good for you and tasty. Um, and like I said, I eat mine with a spoon, like as a dessert, because I, I don't like it as a drink in the morning. So I like it in the evening as a dessert. Because if I do crave something sweet, it's usually at night. It's not in the morning. Okay. What? What are you doing? Ordered uh, screws. Eight. Eight. Um, so that's not enough to finish. No. Nope. nope. One, two, three, four, five. You took six along there. So we could do, what do you want to do this one? Because that'll take six. What's in here? Pepsi? Was that, was your, that was, you still you had, just, you you just still added, had Pepsi You left. just added ice? I just added ice. 
then you have more Pepsi, so I got you that. Okay. All right. All right, let me go cut this. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do this bottom right here real quick. I'll put a... Uh, do we have birthday cake for breakfast? Tom did have birthday cake, but it was more yeah. like brunch. Yeah. He did have birthday cake, though, after he had his soup for brunch. So let's do... Let's do this piece, Laura. We'll put two screws in here. It's sweet, but filled with goodness. Put some for later. They had freaking vegetable soup. We did. It was really good. Okay. So. Uh, oh, do you want all these out? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Yep. Yeah, here. Oh, shit. Oh, ouch, that hurt. Yep. My knee. There's nothing here. So what? how high do you want it? Just like fingertip? I think we did. We just... Just above? You know what I mean? Like well, resting me, on no. my fingers? It was or? in the middle. It was in the... It's right underneath this. There you go. It's down just a little bit. It's right there. Okay. So I'm going to screw this one in. We're going to put one in here. And then I'm going to come down there and put one just to, just to hold it. Okay? Because right, yeah. I want to get the wheel well done. It did have taters. I need some knee pads too. Yeah, I just, I caught that that cord just right on my knee. I'm gonna pull it toward me a little bit? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, that looks, uh, that looks really good right there. Love eating a ration bar and salted Great, Lala. That turned off. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't need it. I was just wondering why it wasn't charging. Because it has to be plugged in somewhere. Oh. Well. Hmm. That's why it's not been charging. Yeah. Where does it plug into? Weird. I thought it was weird the light wasn't on. Yeah, I did too, but we've, we've got other ones that the light doesn't come yeah. on either. Okay. Thanks. All right. All right, let me uh, go cut this one. Feet to jump to rendezvous point. 
seven and a half. Weapons at the ready. I thought we were just preparing. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Be right back, uh -huh. kids. What? No, I'm coming right back in. Sorry guys, I know. Here you go. Huh? Okay. It'll be okay. Sorry about that. That's it. Tom has the mic, oh dear. Can you the drill, please? The drill? I got it. Where is it? Right there. Occurrences and conflicts, better safe than sorry. I feel the tension rising, Blob. Like something's gonna happen. I have to say, a wee bit concerned. That's how Blob lost the first flagship, the UC, the UCC Resolute. Oh, you guys can't see him. There you go. It's looking good, honey.
Blob leaves the bridge to head to personal quarters. Blob's going to have to have some berries soon. Or some hot chicken. All right. Come on, baby. Just need you to help me hold. You want a honey pet? No. It's fine. I can't wait to tell um, Dixie my idea for her website for honey pets. Exactly what you think. Hi, what, what, what? She has, a, she has like a merch site. It's really cool. Nice. Look at, would you look at that? That's amazing. Like butter. You know what? Just like butter. <laughs> Loki, would you look at that? Suck that right in. I did it with two screws left, so I can do those. Got like a piece of. It's down. You get no little pieces. metal shard, yeah. Yeah, probably from, probably from this. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Sometimes you, sometimes you just have to look at it. Would you just look at it, <laughs> Loki? <laughs> sometimes you just have to. You just have you to just look, look at it. it you just look it in. That's what I just did there. Look it in. I just looked it in. It was looking back at me, and I said, "No, no, 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 no. You need to look away. You just need to look at it. You need to Would look you look at it? Time. Just look in. at that." <laughs> So did we just finish the whole thing? 100, yeah. 100% of the screws done. And you finish the whole thing. Yeah. You guys, no screws left. Everything, like the framing part is done, right? Yeah, mostly. I've well. Got, got to frame out the back there and stuff, but. Yeah, the back. But yeah. So we'll get some more screws, but mission accomplished, right? The screws are ordered. Mission accomplished. Huh? Yes. Exclamation point Tom, a Greek god. It's all right. It, it was T that said it too, so that'll make it extra heady for you. Blob goes to desk terminal to make sure there's no veg meat on board. <laughs> Hi guys. That drill is hot. Hot drill. All right. So we put the stuff away? Yep. Okay. 
Okay, chat. Time to put stuff away. Um, do you want me to sweep? I'm going to take all of this stuff into the garage because... Do you want me to sweep the baseboards and the floors? Um, yeah, once we get stuff out of here, that sounds great. Okay. Because I'm getting metal shards in my feet. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you'll find the your um your chat wristband too. I'm gonna put the stuff I need to take out over here. I need to put my shoes on. I'm getting metal shards in my feet. It's horrible. Owie. Owie. I need to sweep this shit. Metal shards on our new floor. Bob doesn't like veggie meat for military rations. <laughs> veggie meat was made from a mix of healthy green vegetables and in fact did not contain any meat. It was more a protein substance made for war rations. The texture is slightly bendy and rubbery. <laughs> One portion of veg meat requires half a standard sized tin of water. Wow. Doesn't sound like it would be good at all. Blob. The cordless stick vex that I recommend a while ago for boat would be great. Yeah. I agree. And it causes blob great flatulence. <laughs> uh, yeah. But then that would require like plugging something else in.
Actually, I could just put this in the, put it right in the cracks there. There you go. It's gonna get covered up anyway. Hi, Sprocket o Sprocketopolis. <laughs> Welcome on in. Thanks for that follow. Appreciate it. Going to hunt for Sis Bikini Top that she thinks she left here. All right. Thanks, Shayna. Blob suffers in silence tension. <laughs> Ah, yeah, welcome on in, Sprocket. We are just finishing up um, the bus project for the day, which was just putting in the, um, putting in the, the wood to, and we're going to be putting in um, shiplap here for the sides, for the walls. So it's just kind of the, the guts and the framing that needs to happen. So, oops. Shit, what just happened? Hmm. I must have clicked something. putting it all I'm just putting all this sawdust in the cracks like why not cracks need to be filled with something anyway All this is going to get filled in, so might as well just put stuff in it. Sawdust can't hurt. Metal shards can't hurt that. Debron, Debron, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Hi, welcome aboard. We are just getting things cleaned up. We just did some framing on the walls today for the bus. Um, and that was the goal. And we, so we completed the goal, which is wonderful. So Tom is taking down the tent outside and um, putting all the, the saws and stuff back in the garage. Then we're gonna go in. We're gonna have probably some more vegetable soup, little something for dinner. And um, Tom started a Lego stream yesterday, doing an international space station build for a Lego and um, didn't finish it last night. So we, we cut the stream off like at midnight and um, still had little bit to do so he's gonna finish that up on stream so we'll switch from a schoolie project to a bit of a Lego stream and just kind of a chill hangout to end the night so but welcome aboard appreciate you being here leaf blower <laughs> oh yeah worst job is sweeping sand between brick pathways yes Shall we put that in the wisdom section? Cracks need to be filled with something anyways. <laughs> Fill it with something. 
<laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> or no, maybe not. <laughs> hey, I've got more follows like with me sweeping than we have all day. <laughs> so funny. Whoo! It's getting warm in here though. Oh my God, that feels so good. Oh yeah. Okay. That is pretty good. That will be less shards in my feet. Seriously, I was like, getting shards in my feet. It's pretty brutal. Oh, there's Tom. Huh? I said, there's Tom. Hi. What are you doing? I got all the tools picked up. Okay. And I just swept the bus, so. I'll be in 30 seconds. So are we just, are we packing our things up to go inside? Yeah. Okay. And I'll grab my stuff. Grab my stuff. Little trays to stake, take stuff in. Oh, my Lord. There. Woo! Blob opens her armor locker and begins placing pieces on. Grabs a utility belt and med gel. I vote no. <laughs> Blob checks the utility to make sure everything is here. Checks expiration date on food capsules. Blob is one busy boy today. The world is okay with Blob on duty. What the hell is that? What was that? What? All that stuff in there. It was out of the Collins tool bag that he left in the back of his truck. Oh no. Was it all trash? Yeah, it was nothing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I pulled the tools out. There's all kinds of hardware in there, Tom. Huh? There's all kinds of hardware in there. Nothing, nothing. Huh? Nothing that I don't have a thousand of screws. All right, well, I just want to make sure there's not like pieces for fences or. Nope. I already went and pulled all this important stuff out. Okay, all right. Well, you do you comes a time when throwing away things can like be dangerous, especially when it looks like it's somebody else's. It is so hot out there, you guys. It is brutal. It must be gonna rain again here. I wonder how many earthy hours are in one blob day. Yeah, tell me about it. 
I'm impressed. I don't know how Blitz keeps up with Blob. Man, that's a lot, dude. That's a lot. All right. Well, let me see how much we got left on the... I'm going to go ahead and switch mics and we'll start charging this one. Okay. Yep, we're good. All right. Other mic charging. Cheese it's. stuff, stream bag, <sighs> purse, all right, chat, we go. Would you look at that? This is going to be the sitting area anyway. So you can kind of see how much room we have. There'll be like a table here. So when you come up, we'll have like cubbies in here to put, you know, like your purse and it'll be about window height. So you'll kind of come up and there will be something here like a surface area and then we'll have cubbies here where you can put shoes and purses and anything that you want right is right here but i was just like look at how much room we'll have tom for like sitting here yeah. you know you want to feed me that cable real quick huh feed me that silver cable that jeffrey's fully charged oh nice Wait, hold on. Let me put it on the, let me put the thing on the end. Okay. Got it? Got it? Okay. All right. Tom? Tom? Mr. Ripley. The talented Mr. Ripley. Do y'all remember the talented Mr. Ripley? From our trip to Pensacola, who took us on the tour? Hey. Fort Pickens. <laughs> the damage on. <laughs> no bikini was found, but I stripped the bed. I thought I already did. <laughs> oh boy, Blob attaches membranes to gauntlets. That's one of my favorite movies. Tied. 
Yeah, we have we have a friend, Mr. Ripley. So, and I think we didn't use the talented. I think we used the amazing Mr. Ripley. I think we tried to not do, or maybe we did use the talented Mr. Ripley. But he is um, a pianist extraordinaire and uh, composes his own music, but as well. Um, but he is amazing on a piano. Um, and he gives piano lessons to children, but the man is just like, just so brilliant when it comes to music. So, um, but anyway, he's a really dear friend of ours and um, lives down in Pensacola. So when we, when we go down there to visit, we always stop in to see them. And he gave us a tour last time of Fort Pickens, which is one of the Civil War sites down in um, Pensacola, Florida. And so it's right between the ocean and the harbor, like right on this peninsula is Fort Pickens. And it's his, I think maybe like two times great-grandfather, two or three times great-grandfather was um, like the general that, that was in charge of Fort Pickens. So it's a whole family name down, down there in Pensacola. So it's cool. But he gave us a personal tour. Yeah, he is a cool dude. He is. Yeah, Darren. Yeah, you remember he is. He really is unreal on the on the piano. Attaches a K65 flamethrower, wrist rocket, whistling owls launcher, solar shield, wrist blades, and a whip cord. Holy camoly. Yeah, I want a wrist rocket. <laughs> Could I take one of those to work tomorrow? <laughs> I could use a wrist rocket. <laughs> that was the craziest for me. I watched most of the day before I checked his link. Then I was like, dang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's good. He is really good. We need to get back down there for another trip. See my sister, see Mr. Ripley. Somebody wants to say hi to you, Lala. <gasps> oh, hi, Cutie Pie. Hi. Can you say hi, Lala? Hi, little love. Hi. Are <laughs> oh, you gonna be shy? Oh. Lala loves you. Look yeah. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is like. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Then he's fine. Hi, little love. Hi. Yeah, do you want to give Lala huggies? I want to give you a hug right now. Yeah, Lala? You say hi, Lala. <laughs> oh my gosh. When I turn the phone away from him, he comes over and tries to see. Oh. I know, sweetie. Yeah, you don't normally see me on the phone, do you? No. He's like, that's a tease. That's a tease, Lala. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can I can print some out of, of of us and we can just uh, drop them to you. Well, are we gonna go over on Wednesday? Yeah. Let's figure yeah. out let's figure out what night of the week. We might need to change the night of the week. Is that okay? That's fine. What's better for you? Give me some options. Tuesday, Thursday. Well, Tuesday when it's not board meeting night. So I've got like every other Tuesday Wednesday. I can. Let's do Thursdays and then we'll, we'll figure out the whole deal with the other kids. Yeah. So. With the other family. Yeah. We'll figure that out. Oh, that, is that your day of the week for that? Well, we'll figure it out. Maybe Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Monday's hard for us because we have... No, um, we can do... We can no, Thursday. but maybe... No, I'm thinking maybe Monday for the other family. Okay. Thursday. Maybe Thursday for you is, is good, okay? 
Yeah, and Monday might be good for us too. Like, whatever. Just okay, just just think think just think about it because I guess you have an event or something. I have that an starts? event on Wednesday starting up that I need to be at. Oh. Okay. For the first few. Did you trip to both it? I don't think it all. Okay. Hi, Cutie Pie. Hi. Yeah. I see your tummy. Yeah, I see your tummy. I see your tummy. There's the belly button. Where's your nose? Where's your nose? That's right, big kid. Yeah, Paige, I was gonna, when I called you this morning, I was going to tell you that. Where's your lips? I had all that stuff ready for you if you wanted to come get it. Where's your ear? Okay. Yes, very good. Such a smart boy. Such a smart yeah, boy. All the parts of the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So. Yep. Yeah. Actually, shoulders and knees are hard for him for some reason, but whatever. Head, shoulder, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love you. Yep. Love you. Lala loves you. Yeah. yeah. I do. Yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All, right. All right, lovey. So, how's the bus coming along? Good. It's good. Do you want to see? Yeah. Hold on. Let me turn you around. How do I turn that? How do I turn that around? Where's the? Oh, is that it? Wow, looking good. Yeah, we did all this. Um... Yeah. So this is the floor, and what we've done um, today, we did the the rails. All the framing. The framing, and we're gonna do shiplap. Cool. On the sides. So, but yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and right here, some of it. yeah, we'll put insulation as well as um, like outlets and things in the walls, and then then we'll do the ship lap. Yeah, there's there's some of it right there. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Looking good. Yep. Yeah. Can't but. Wait to take you guys camping. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yep. There'll be room. We'll, there'll, there'll be room for there'll be room for four to sleep pretty easily. Because this will yeah, make I, us full I know up. you guys have been super busy, so sorry we haven't been over. It's been as I texted, like two weeks of hell for us between being sick and whatever going to the ER. Yeah. I realized after he was all better how long his behavior finding. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Yep. Like, well, I'm head thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me turn this. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's there like go. the connection is starting to. There you go. There we go. Yeah. No, he. Yeah, he looks good, but yeah, yeah. It's it's afterwards. You know. Yeah. Once he got it fixed, and then you realize that there's, you know what I mean, that he wasn't like, as well for so long. Yeah. yeah. So when, so, is he, when does he go back for a checkup? Does he have to go back and be checked up, or is he good? No, which I was kind of pissed about. I wish they would have done a follow-up. Yeah. Like, I was actually going to ask for them to just admit us, because we didn't get discharged until, like, 4.30 yeah. in the morning. Yeah. yeah. That we needed to stay for six hours of observation, and that it's most likely to recur within 24 hours of it being resolved. So I was just going to ask to be admitted. But then I went to the bathroom, and I came back, and we were discharged. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was talking to Chris and I was like, shoot. Yeah. Because I was going to ask to be admitted, but Chris was asleep, and so I wanted him, I, I just like, wanted to check with him first. Yeah. It, it just didn't work out. But yeah. then he didn't go for almost three days, and then he finally did again, and it was like solid, like fine. So we're like, all right, because we were about to take him to the ER today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's okay. Yeah, okay. it probably it probably took a little bit to get his system back in order, so that's great, though. Good job, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we love you. Yeah, we love you so much. 
Yes. Put it, yep, yes, cutie we love pie. You. We love you so much. It's doing his happy feet. Okay. Yep. We'll see you this week, buddy. Yep. We'll, we'll talk to mommy. We'll, we'll touch, come. We'll, we'll come see you. Okay. We'll touch base tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon. Okay, Paige. Oh, you don't know what time or what day you want to come. Oh, I can. I can do. I can do Monday, Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday. But mom has. Um, well, I just need to check this Tuesday. I don't know if it's a board meeting night yeah. or not. But if if not, then yeah, I can do Tuesday. It's it's up to you. I mean, you guys can come tomorrow too. We definitely need help. It's uh, my busy processing time. And he's not in daycare. Why don't we so just Why don't we just come if you're tomorrow? Able to come, sorry, what's that? Why don't we just come tomorrow? Yeah, what's the earliest that you guys can come? Um, I to, like this week is the first week of school, so oh, yeah. I really I you know I would say yeah probably not early. Yeah. Probably like four four thirty four thirty probably yeah, not early. ish. Okay. Okay. Let's let's, let's judge it. Let's let, let's just look at calendars and we'll we'll touch base in text and just okay. just kind of land on something. Okay. All right. That's great. Yeah, All right. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd call and wish Dad a happy birthday and we haven't seen you guys in a while. Yeah. I know. So, I know. Um, Dad, what were we talking about before we said I'm drunk? We were talking about something. I said I got all that dollhouse and all Here. the pieces together. So. Oh yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah and go through some stuff with mom as well because yeah. there's some things that I want to take that I've been thinking about. You can just, the other thing you can do is you can come over here one evening and I bring Q and I'll just watch him yeah. and you guys can go through stuff. Okay. Because there's, right. there's nobody here now. So. Yeah. yeah. No. It's, it's just us. It's so. Just, it's just us. So just, um, yeah, so any night you want to come and just like look through stuff and pull things out, put a box together, it's fine. It's great. Yeah. Is it nice uh, just having your house back? It's quiet. Yourself? It's quiet. Yeah. Yeah, it's quiet. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's bittersweet. I think everybody is happy to be, you know, out and on their own. But yeah, it's taken some getting used to to just not have people around all the time. We definitely miss. We definitely we miss everybody, but we definitely miss cats. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Because that's a constant. That's a constant thing with the doors and all that. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. a, it's like it'd be like having Q live with us and then not. You know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Hi, little man. Out, the, uh, you guys said it was fine that I moved. The tough part was taking the cats with me. No, yeah. no, but we miss, we miss no. everybody. We, miss we, everybody. we do, we do miss everybody. Oh, I was trying to get the picture. But um, <laughs> does Taylor still have a bunch of stuff there? No, not much. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. Because when Heather was staying there, she sent me a picture of you guys and uh, I was like,
All right, we should be back. Sorry, that was a plan mute. Just yet. Oh, melt me, my little grandbaby. He was, uh... He's like 13 months now. Yeah, he had a, he had a little medical scare this weekend, so... Yeah, like his intestines folded up on... And he was literally, like, crying and writhing in pain and passing out, so... Um, it was kind of terrifying. They took him to the ER and sorted it all out and got his intestines back where they should be, but he was at risk to have to have surgery. So it was, uh, it was kind of a, a pretty crazy little time there. Yeah. Hi, Jimmy O. Good to see you. Welcome in. How's your day been, love? Right. The grand, the grandkids FaceTimed us in the hour we had to get ready. I know <laughs> So, and we try, we try to see him once a week, but you know, it's just, there's some days where that day of the week just doesn't work out because we, we work full-time jobs. And then if there's things going on and Tom's got after hours stuff as well sometimes. So it's just crazy, but we try to fit it all in, you know, fit it all in. Yep. All right. We ready? Huh? Are we ready? Um, are you taking this in or are you, is this staying here? A little, yeah, just little leave it. Bag. Leave it right here. Yep. All right, cool. Little miscellaneous work bag. Okay, and so does everything stay plugged up? And I just turn this off. Yep. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. All right. Turn off the air. Turn off the thingy. All right, guys, ready? I'm gonna go inside. We're gonna grab something to eat. Let's see if I can carry everything. Help. All right, you got them? All right. Oh, I got to shut off my, yeah, you can go. I got to shut off the, um, what? The time lapse. Oh. Time lapse. Been good watching Josh at the racetrack. Oh, how did that go, Jimmy O? He had his camera on the nitro. How did that go? Man. Did he pull it off? I was looking. We had to we had to get going and so um I saw he was prepped and they went to the B right back screen and I think they were taking everything out to the track. But I didn't see it actually go off. I got it. I got it, Laura. You you got it? Yep, I got it. Pull it off. Good. Okay. How did it go? Did he get some good footage? Oh my gosh, he's got two more runs to go. That's crazy. Two more runs to go. I really hope. Is there going to be a VOD? Is I hope there's a VOD of that. Because I want to watch it. Well, we, can... we could do a watch party. Finale tonight. Final 10K winner. Wow. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Woo! Nice in here. It feels great in here. The humidity level is so much less. <laughs> you have chat. They're, huh. they're kind of looking somewhere. Okay. All right get you guys settled here. Whew. Woo! All right, no more Cheez-Its. Done with the Cheez-Its for the weekend. Save those for next week.
save those for next week. Everything else, we got charging. Plug this in. Alright. Alright, and actually that one is charged now. Sorry guys. Let's see. Blob I'm heard to mess around calm like, oh my god. What is it, Blob? Weather. Yeah, it's now eighty-eight, so it's dropped two degrees, that's good. Humidity is still sixty-three. I emptied my can cheese and did not buy more. Yay, Shayna! Good for you, sweets. That's great. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like she made some good choices this week, T. No, that's really great. You should actually be really proud of yourself. That's part of self-care, though. You know what I mean? If you think of it like that, don't think of it as denying yourself. Think of it as taking care of yourself. Because that's really great. All work and now place. That's one up for disaster. What kind of magazines Blob has? He's on his way to the second run now. Ooh, cars in the queue? Hold on. I want to see. So you can't, um, you, you know, you can't walk up to your car and lock it without the key in the room. I can't go out there. I couldn't lock it. No, you can't lock my car without the key. It keeps you from locking the key in the car. You have to have the key to lock it. Your car's unlocked. Huh? Your car's unlocked. Okay. I'll go out there and unlock it in a minute. Okay, guys. <sighs> what a weekend. We made the most of it. Yeah, we did. Didn't we? All right, I'm going to try to catch this. Gonna see if. Oh, there's the 30 show. Jim, the mental health coach, is on too. What is going on? I saw um, Jesse on earlier as well. All these people, my favorite streamers are streaming while I'm streaming, which means I can't be a part of their stream. <laughs> and I have FOMO. So he's getting ready to go. Ready, ready for clips. Okay. All right, we got it, chat. We got it right here.
There you go. The 30 show. Ready for action. What? No, it's up to you, Tom. All right, do you want to do the Lego stream? We can finish it. I mean, everybody can do what they want to do anyway, so. All right. Huh? Keep that cloth over top of it with that fan on it. Do you want me to switch this, the, uh, the stream to the computer? No, I'm just going to use the phone. I'm For the gonna, Lego stream? Yeah. I'm just going to use the phone and put it down in the Legos. You are? Yeah. You have to hook all that stuff back up. Well, I know, but it was... It is nice for them to see people, too. Okay. Is that a big deal to hook it all up? Uh, it should be a full run. I don't know what you guys did to hook it up. It's easy. I can help you. All right, well, you can have the computer. It's fine. So, just saying, but Josh... Josh put this stuff, strapped this stuff yeah. to the back of this dragster, and he's going to get video. Yeah, that is cool. It's got a fan on it to keep it cool. That's crazy. Just saying, that's crazy. That is cool. Yeah, my main focus for you guys is not what's happening right here. My, my main focus is getting one good actual run. Oh, thanks, Shayna. Fans are watching. A lot of you guys are eager. I'm putting equipment. It's not designed for this. I mean, all right. So now nah, I don't know. I, it. Shayna said it could take a while. So. So what we'll do? We'll um. Yeah. You all tab. Definitely go to the Thirty Show if you haven't followed the Thirty Show. Um. Do it's. It's great. So we we get a shout out for the 30 show. That way people can go. They know he's got some really amazing content going on right now. Um, definitely put him on a tab and watch what's going on. You know. Yeah, the two. Are, yeah, once the runs don't last long, I'm sure. But it's pretty cool that he's got a camera on there, like on the car. One of his cameras on their cars. So. Yep, thanks, Shayna, for the shout out. So yeah, go check it out. He is um, getting ready to do a run now. So if you're if you really like that stuff and you want to see what he's up to, at least put it on a tab and check in to see their progress. Because I have to admit, like he worked to get that um, that camera on that car. So like, good on him. It's pretty cool. I got chaos with this in my TV and my iPad. <laughs> Blob heads to the bridge. Lord. You can watch your streams while Tom does his Legos. <laughs> yes, you can. But here with my best. Oh, you're so, so sweet, Shayna. I love you. It's on his way to the second run now. Okay. Okay, I think we're caught up in chat. They're like 25 miles from me. Yeah, that's crazy. Shayna, why didn't you like you just go and hang out? I know you had family in town, though. It's about probably been really crazy. It's probably been really crazy. Okay, guys, we're going we're gonna to come in here. Tom is setting up the Lego stream. What did I do with all those cameras? Did you see what I did with all those cameras this morning? Um, they're on this chair. I put them here. Okay. Right there. Cool. Just trying to keep everything together. So yeah, so this is our dining room table <laughs> and Tom's Lego world right now. Oh, the other tripod is, oh, on the bus. Do you want me to go get the other, yeah, or I here? I can put it right here. Huh? Or where's the other skinny one? Because it's so small. Tom? Q. 
Here's, I've got another boom arm too. You got it? Okay. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah, that's perfect. And it's got, it's got the telescoping yeah. legs too. with you if you want to um, not have everybody. Yeah, that would be great. Super. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Camera. Camera. You want the monitor, right? Yeah, I kept all the cords there. And yeah, you can take out my mouse. I don't need to take out your mouse. You don't? Oh yeah, we do, because we need to put in the sound, right? I have no clue. But it's fine, but it's fine if you do. We used the mic last night. Yeah. Does the mic, no, no, your, your microphone's uh, USB-C. That's right. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Exclamation point timer on Tom setup. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and dog and cliff. <laughs> Bob heads to command center and checks with other fleets. Blob should stock up. Blob has been stocking up on a lot of stuff today. All right, so there's that one. Nice. Um, so you just need to go to the scenes. Lego build. Oh, base cam. Oh, it's not on. Yeah. I don't know if I got the right camera, so let's... Uh, that's the one that was on the chair, though, right? It is. It is. And, well, it was in a box. Deactivate. But it's, but it's possible. The light's not on it, so it's possible that it needs, this is, needs to be plugged into the... Where was the other one that, from last night? I, I don't know. It was on the chair. Yeah, it was. And it got put in a, must have got put in a box. Oh, I, don't, I didn't know. So, let me try this. Are you sure? Because there was one on a chair. Huh. Maybe not. That's right here. Got it. Oh, it's the same one. No, so. It's not totally different. Oh, is it? Try, try this one. We'll try plugging in. Try plugging it in here first. That seemed to make a noise. I'm seeing the light. Base cam is first. Settings, device, HD Pro webcam. Okay. That's the one, right? Uh, try this other one. Try that one. That's what Colin was saying. They're going to keep showing up as the same device. So, so I've had two plugged in. So go Should ahead. Should I deactivate no, it no, and go, then go, activate go, go it again? Go to the other one real quick. Device default, what? Go to the, there's two. There's two 920s, because I've had two different ones plugged in. There it is. Okay. Now you're good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. So can I go back a little bit? Further? Yeah. Um, you want to turn it toward me. There you go. How's that? Yeah, and turn it this way. Okay. All right. No, this way. It's I reversed. I don't know why it's reversed. I don't like it. Okay. Did it turn toward you? 
turn it that way and then move the whole camera that way. Nope, sorry, other way. Yeah, now turn it. Toward you? A little bit, there, right there. Is that gonna get me too? And then come a little closer. Uh, yep, right there, perfect. Yes, it will. All right. And I'll fix it. There you go. Because you're going to be right here. With all your things. There you go. See? There's us. Perfect. Nice. You okay? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. This, okay. This would be great. All right, we are ready. Chat, are you ready to go live, Tom? Yeah. We are live. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. You're just so patient. Like, okay, yeah, they're doing whatever. Because that's whatever this is. We're the whatever stream. We're like, whatever. Yes, there was a camera on the chair. Look at those Lala guns. What? <laughs> You're so funny. All right. All right. We ready, guys? Yep, you need to switch. Okay. So. You're going to need to switch, and then we can either use, we can't use the mic off of your, um. That's fine. That'll work. That'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine right there. All right. Give Tom 10. He's got three left. What? <laughs> ah, that's so funny. Okay. All right. So um, I think all I need to do is I'm going to end this stream. And hold on. Let me uh, go here. Let me go to Twitch and change... Let me go to dashboard. Oops. Wow, look at all the different. And now I want to go to dashboard. Change the title of our stream. So we're doing Special edition Lego build. International Space Station. Papa Tom underscore Carpe DM. Birthday continued. <laughs> okay. Let me do at. Okay. You probably get some follows off of that, Tom. All right. You ready? Giving Tom 10. He's got three left. Oh, minutes to set up. All right. We are ready to go now. You all ready? Yep. Okay. We did it. Let's go, chat. Okay, we are going to um, shut down the stream. Huh? Yep. Going to shut down the stream. Yep. And then we are going to start up live on the other side. You guys hang out with us. We'll be back in.